Comic Convos episode oh. ten. Oh Dude, my goodness, 10. this is, is our tenth. This is our tenth episode, guys. Like, we are so appreciative of all of you coming back to oh. talk comics with us. Seriously, like, thank we you. We love these conversations, and for everybody that's new tonight. Hello, we're Comic Convos. Welcome to Comic Convos. Welcome. We talk about movies, TV, <laughs> video games, and comics every week. Every week, guys. We talk about the latest, the best, you know, anything you guys Even want to talk about. Even the worst sometimes, too. I mean. Even the worst, yeah. I mean, I mean it just depends really on what we're, uh, what's, what do you guys want to talk about? We're, we're always wanting to do the conversation. And this week, we're focusing a lot on Iron Fist. Pretty we're much. talking but... about all of it, too, you know. We're doing no the same spoilers. round and round. No same yeah, thing no we spoilers. did with no same thing we did spoilers. with Legion and Logan, you know. Yep, exactly. No need to spoil. So, what's up, y'all? I'm Leo Rydell. This is Axel Brave. We both have our own creative projects, and we'll definitely introduce you to those throughout the podcast. <laughs> Later. He's, he's got an awesome shirt on there. Is that a Batman shirt? This is a Batman. Batman. I mean, always be yourself, unless you can be Batman. Then, then you'd be you Batman. Be Batman. Then you'd be Batman, guys. Uh, and this is actually from our treasure trove of prizes yeah. that I'm just sporting today. That's uh, for, you know. We'll have some prizes going on oh, later. Oh, we actually guys. probably have the most prizes we've ever had today because we're doing this week out of a new selection. We've had last week, no one picked up their prize. And then we have um, one week before as well. Where yeah, from we our... just have one more left. Yes, guys. Sorry. So, you know, come on back and you'll get a prize. Like, uh, yeah, uh, well, we'll mention it. We, uh, we do, we're doing this from now on unless, you know, we say... You know, unless a special episode, we don't have something. Uh, we, we're doing a contest where uh, if you like the the original video, uh, if you comment on the original video, or if you share the original video uh, that we have on the Comic Convos page, and here's the catch, and you got to like the page, this is only, that's only so we can find you, though. We can't find you to tag you and let you know you've won the prize. If you don't like the page, it won't let us. Literally. We've tried. So we, come tried. through, like the page, comment. Anything. It is a supply. I mean, season. like you said, we little like here. You can leave. You've are, you've been entered in for the contest. Exactly. You got your two buttons. You leave. Two buttons. A free shirt. I think this week I'll do, do a quick flash. Oh, here, give you some. Yeah. Got a couple comics this week, guys. Ba -ba bam. Ba -ba 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 Sorry, comics. That's like mixed up, but comics. These are some amazing. We've got a couple from Leo provided us here. Action Comics, Superman versus Superboy, which, oof, man, that looks like a tough fight, doesn't it's it? It's a good one. It's a good uh, one, We've also got a Cloak and Dagger limited issue series, or limited, yeah, yeah, yeah four issue limited series. Mm -hmm. And behind that, I've, I've uh, ho gracefully provided us with a Metamorpho, the deadly Metamorpho in one of his original series, if you see him right there. And, of course, Lobo, Un-American Gladiator. Yep, so we got four comics. We got a couple shirts that we'll show you guys a little bit later yep. as well. Those were from and last week. We had strong. to get you get us some prizes for our Iron Fist special, guys. Dude, so there was no way we couldn't. We, could, we had we're, to we're sorry up. we didn't have any Iron Fist ones this week. We're, we're going to work on themed stuff later. But for now. Iron Fist. Oh, dude, Iron Fist is so cool. Guys, you got you got to tell us what you thought. What did you Please, think about Iron Fist? If you hated it, tell me why you and hated tell, yeah, it. Yeah, tell us why you hated it. Because that's the thing I don't understand. Everyone else I can vibe with. If you're in the medium and you're like, meh. I understand that. If you love it, like I do, you know, like I, it's not like the best show of all time, but I like it, man. Like from the second episode, I was like, yes, I've got to finish this. I got to finish my yeah, binge. Yeah, it drew me in right away. And you know, a lot of people, a lot of critics are saying that it did, it was too slow for them. And I it's thought okay. it was perfectly paced. I, I thought it was fine. I mean, could it be, have been paced faster? A sure, little. anything can be paced faster. You could start the, the, the series with the death of the enemy, like some series. Yeah. Or, in, like I said, Luke Cage even, was it, was it really that much faster? Like, that's always going to, like, oh, Jessica Luke Jones, guys. Oh, God, Come six on. episodes in, and I was like, do I have to finish watching this? <laughs> a lot of people like that a lot better, man. Than Dude, Iron I have Fist. some people, I have some people rank that, like, as their number two. Really? I've seen right it. Right past Daredevil? I've seen it. I've seen it, like, as either as their number two or their number three sometimes, guys. but... well. Let's ask you guys, what's your favorite Marvel Netflix series? Now, we've got Iron Fist, which is the most recent. we got Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and then Daredevil counts for two seasons. Yes, one so and two. Season one and two are separate. 
Which they one are. did you guys like the most? Right, I what's your definitely ranking? definitely loved Daredevil. Dare, Daredevil, was, well, season specifically. Two was, season two. Specifically we, and, season two. And I'm going out on my limb here, and this is my limb of my opinion. So, you know, if you cut me off and knock me off my branch, that's fine to do, but it's my limb. Can't take it away from me. <laughs> it's your opinion, huh? Uh, it's just my opinion. That is probably the best season of a comic hero-based TV show ever Period. made. Period. I agree. Anything across any genre. That includes old school. Period. old Even old school stuff is much... Well, I don't know if it was the comic or the show first, but like... Uh, what's the one that Bruce Lee was in? You remember the Green Hornet? They made the remix. It was the Green Hornet. Oh, uh, Jackie Chan, dude? No, Jackie Chan wasn't, but Lee. but Bruce Lee's in the original. Oh, in the original, yeah, yes. Green Hornet, Green Isn't Hornet. It? Yes, yeah. that's a, and so I don't know if that's the other, but even stuff like that, like classic, whatever show you want to pick, you could even say animated shows, maybe, but some of those are pretty great. Uh oh, was well, skeptical because of reviews, but I've been hearing excellent things about Iron Fist, and I will start watching it tonight. Ooh, Ooh cloak thanks, and, Jake. Yeah, thank you, Jake. What's also, going on, man? We also, I see you say comments. Cloak and Dagger in high school. Yes. Wow, Cloak and Dagger, you Cloak heard and Cloak and Dagger is crazy. supposed to be in talks for a series, right? Or yeah, I don't know if absolutely. they got confirmed. No, that's confirmed. Is it confirmed? It's going to so be on many Netflix series confirmed, it? dude. So I think it's going to be. Oh, Marvel is just crazy right dude, now. Dude, I mean, stuff. that's the thing. Marvel is breaking into stuff. Don't get me wrong. DC is too. DC's picked up a bunch of stuff too. Absolutely. And that, that's not to, you know, I can't discard either one because they're both doing so great right now. And I love them both so much. Obviously, Marvel fanboy, but. Like I said, I love DC and I give it its day because it is a it's got those strong. It's they've characters. got those very strong characters. Classics, man. just that the very basic ideas of what heroes crazy are. Crazy backgrounds too, and it's like they they're relatable, but at the same time, it's like they they come from some tragic backgrounds. Tragic, absolutely tragic. Not to say Marvel heroes don't. It's just different. I mean, think about it though. Superman's planet got destroyed. His whole entire ancestry is eradicated at the very beginning i know but there's it's several like characters Batman. like that in both universes i mean yeah absolutely absolutely and, and, and i'm not gonna say and it doesn't happen to, to be fair that was always actually i don't know if that was his original origin story was it not oh i, I think know. i think he oh, was a very very first one was like he was an advanced human or something yeah well i think he was just like the the strongest american man or something but like that, that was like very early like back when superman was splitting shit at the county fair you know, yeah, that that was true. still before Superman could fly and stuff. You know, before Superman of the Silver Age became the most BS character to ever exist. Oh yeah, he was definitely except um, for the Sentry. <laughs> he was definitely one of those uh, he, characters that were just. Oh, and we know about the Sentry Man. He is. We won't get into that because there's a million arguments that to be made against that. That they're. One of those, uh, characters oh, that were sorry. Just, oh, and we know about. The but. We're doing good on the uh, lag time's pretty short. That's good. So please, like I said, keep commenting to us. What's going on, Jake? Uh, Batman for life. What? Oh, man, I love Iron Fist. Don't take it as a super high review. I would give it the seven or eight. It's not. It's not would, Daredevil yeah, season two. About a seven. Oh man, Daredevil season two is like a nine and a half. Nine and a half, as close as you can get, probably. Absolutely. It's like without somehow like physically rendering people, you know what I mean, to such an extent. I don't know. It, and even then, like directors and stuff, like no one's ever going to be 100 percent happy. No, no. And it's not to satisfy. It's not to satisfy everyone. They, no. they made the series. You know what I mean? And I think I will say, I think Iron Fist didn't get an, as much loves as some of the other series because it comes out right before Defenders. I they're probably even putting more all than that. that like I said, Defenders, there was man. there were huge things about the critics that we just didn't understand as fans and immediately were skeptical about the critics reviews at least personally and me i know me and several others were critical about it because the first thing we heard was slow pacing and then whitewashed and the first thing you think about when you hear whitewashed in the same sentence as danny rand is like what do you mean that's how danny rand started out like he was he is the foreigner of kun lun and that's the thing about that people understand. Hey, Adrian. Like, hello, hello. Good to see you. Oh, Adrian says, uh, what's good? Iron Fist and Enjoyable, 7 out of 10. That, see, like I said, my exactly personal, we thought. it's no, it's not the greatest TV series. Like I said, all right, so we were doing our rankings, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and we're going to do like them we said, in you order. Guys. And you guys do it as well if you like to tell us which one's your favorite one. Uh, yeah, which one's uh, your so, second? You yep. Know? So number one, top, top seat, what is your absolute favorite 
Marvel series, TV, Netflix series. Marvel, Netflix, TV the series. The Netflix, yes. Yeah, so we're the we're not talking Universe Shield TV. Of, yeah, or Agent, we're not talking Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And personally, me and Leo have already expressed that we both tie number one at Daredevil, Daredevil number two. two. Yeah, season two, no, number two. It's too good. It's, it's, it's too amazing. Good. Like, Daredevil season two is just so and accurate. And, and the funniest thing about that is I feel like Daredevil season two starts almost slower than Iron Fist. It does, but he until did have the very that end up. of the episode. Oh my goodness! Till the very end of the episode, but before that, no, I'm trying to think of the exact order of episode one. But I do remember episodes one of two of Daredevil season two being very much more of an emotional, like Foggy and Matt thing. Like, dude, you're gonna go out there and get yourself killed. Nah, dude, I'm not gonna go out there and get myself killed, dude. Oh man, I almost got myself killed, dude. Right. <laughs> Same thing as season one, a little bit, but to a higher extent. Daredevil, okay, uh, season one or two, AJ, sorry, we're trying to separate season one and two just because they are technically like different kind of self-enclosed mm -hmm. sections of the Daredevil, even though it's a full TV series, and I would still say together still the t best TV series. Oh, yeah, for... it's 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 absolutely the best one. Like guys. I said, I w and that's where and we got And the Punisher it. was an amazing character. And, and I and think that's why. Yeah, and so yeah, the, here's, here, let me just, in. and I'm going to give you my reasons. Here are my reasons Daredevil is number one on my list of TV comic book series ever as far as live action. Won't go into the animated universe. Some of those are really good. First of all, it's paced like a comic book. It is. It has this very we short, about this yeah, prior. it has a very short interim at the start where there's no real action very tiny bits and pieces of, oh, this is what's going on in the background. Here's the Punisher. Oh, this is what's going on in the background. Here's the villain or something. And then flashing back to life and how it affects them in their life as being heroes and how being a hero, you know, they decide and how it affects them personally. You know, that's very much a Marvel character focus is like, how is being a hero affecting, affecting me? this person? Yeah. yeah this person. And, and how, how is experiencing that then affecting their work is heroes and you could tie that back to iron fist like this is affecting him in an entirely different way think about it guys he the way that danny rand is in the comics is he's always conflicted always he's always have has this mental battle going on between <laughs> danny rand you. and iron fist he does he's just conflicted he doesn't know what to do most of the time i, I will say I uh, just got a comment from Cy Kennedy. Hey, guys, love the hey, haircuts. Hey, what's up, Cy? Thank oh, you. thank you. Uh, Iron Fist was great, in my opinion. The ending, the only letdown. I I can kind of agree with that. I feel like the ending was so anticlimactic. It you know was. what I mean? Like, there that's... was no finality to it. It's like, yeah, he, he, blah, 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 spoilers. But did anything really get accomplished? Like, at the end of the day... What's the difference between now? I think some stuff up there got accomplished. I think that is really. It's like now he's ready to be Iron Fist, and that's what it is. We also have Adrian Hall, two then one. Luke Cage just narrowly beats his wife, and then Iron Fist. I can, I can, you know, I see that. Yeah, I, I can I just, definitely. I just don't agree. Like I said, we have different ones, but thank you for your ones. I like the picks though. I really like the. Uh, I like the references that he knows the characters because the, for those who don't know Luke Cage, Luke and, Cage Iron and Iron Fist, Iron Fist, or, no, no, Jessica I, Jones, <laughs> you know? Jessica Jones is Luke Cage's wife. I yeah, mean, in the comics, it is still, yeah, I believe, yeah, and, and still... Iron Fist and Luke Cage are partners. Not, yeah, not... Power Man and Iron Fist. Yes, I really yep. hope that happens. Oh man, they already did the classic shout to at least Power Man's outfit, although they did not give a good shout to Danny's. Which was one of the complaints I heard about the series. So Adrian, uh, he says season two. Did then they one actually of pop it up for for Danny? No, the never. Wasn't there? Was never. It? Not ever. So. Uh, that's the why that ones, was one of the. Well, Daredevil season two. Jessica Jones never showed hers. I mean, she's never yeah, got to be Jewel. No, they didn't. Yeah, yeah. Um, her sister pulls out pulls a. Oh, they did. Out huh? of the box at one point. Wait, she's was like, that the yeah, accurate your, one though? Your costume, yeah. Yeah. It was one of hers. Because the one that's... All right, maybe. Because I remember like the original... white. It was like the... It's like all white and it's like... Blue, okay, yeah. Then the you're right. Outline. Yeah, I remember that now. Yeah. And, and it happened, thing. you know. It did. Well, she didn't ever wore her suit, though. Yeah. That's and that's true. what I'm she never really wore, looking for. Luke Cage, man. He wore his... He wore his... The, at least the symbolic, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so did Daredevil, obviously, wore his well, suit. Yeah. Uh, Danny well, didn't. The... And Jesse didn't. I... 
I will say that, uh, so we did number one, right? Mm -hmm. So now we got to go on to number two. Number two for me, Luke Cage. Luke Cage, yeah. I was <laughs> just like, I have to go with Luke Cage. And man. I will just... say that I know that some of that is from my, like, background and my able to relate to the series of being, like, growing up in an urban area in a minority family. There's things you get to see in here and experience that you that are very relatable and expressed in Luke Cage. And not only that, just so many shout outs to if you're and that's the other black reason. Black culture, man. I black, mean, and hip hop culture. Hip -hop culture too. And huge amounts of like and I appreciate this. Show. The music like culture rapper, is you know? amazing. So in that great. Show. The big the biggie scene is probably the most cinematic oh, scene in any T V amazing, yeah. Comic the show. King like, and the, the, the back. Yeah, it was so yep. strong. It was and he had the crown on. He's like, was, I'm the king. Yep. So oh, powerful. Powerful, guys. If and, you haven't seen Luke Cage either, and that's one to get And on. here's my reason that Luke Cage... Uh, see, I don't now, think the and, actress who played Colleen Wing was great. Something was off with her that never convinced me. That's what Sai said. Mm, I, I don't Colleen know Wing. Colleen well enough. I've, I've read some Daughters of the Dragon and, and yeah, a little bit of, li and a little bit of from the uh, Heroes of the Hire. <laughs> But I so I can't say Leo would probably be able to say better. Uh, for Heroes Colleen. for Hire is amazing. Um, well, I would say she kind of matched up at this point in time because remember this is Danny right after he got back. Like not only that, from we, we see we obviously the the other thing was Colleen's not a detective right now. Ne yeah, she's not. No, she's nowhere near the Colleen that we know in the comics. Right, but I I can say that there was I don't know. She didn't feel like a powerful impact. Do you know what I'm saying? I didn't feel like there was a strong acting not at all. suit. Mm -mm. So I can see that. I feel like at the beginning she had kind of that potential, but then it just yeah. kind of... And that's what I will say that a lot of people complain was like, all right, there was no strong acting in this, and there was no exceptional super... And even, in fact, there was one I scene... I like the Meachams, though. The Meachams actually did great. I, I every like Meachum did whole awesome. Like, like, every single Meachum was, like, so so perfect villainous this is like when a they needed to be. Of, including the sister. Power. Yeah, including the sister. Yeah, Joy. They were so good at it, being villains together. And the, the way the series played out, she <laughs> was too hard for me to notice. Thank you. I agree with that. Yeah, definitely. An and uh, like we said, it, it's it's interesting. But it's funny for me that I have such a problem here now, right, right by Luke Cage. Because then, we, like I said, I love Luke Cage. probably is, you know, second on my list. But then I also recognize the problems, despite that. Like, the weird switch in, in the season for villains. Yeah. And the ending being the strong, the worst... Uh, of all the Marvel series, in my opinion, I know that was just kind of so, like you said, anticlimactic. I was just like, I, I didn't like I said, really imagine that. Yeah. But is that something that we needed? Do we need to have? Because think Does about it. Need it. Think about clean? the other. I know, other and think where it's situations. leading is also yeah. the thing we have to think about. We're, we're we're like, all right, they ended so, but well, that's because yeah, all right, uh, but at the same time, then you look at Daredevil, where every the endings are. Building up to these and climactic and personally that's dramatic. What they wanted, that's what they want to lead these characters into. Right, they which is lead them all into like this. And like kind I said, broken... season two is so much better. And the, like we said, it's so much like a comic because not only the pacing, but it brought in different comic book characters. Yeah, they which did. Is so common in comic books. Yep. So common. The lecture just character. pops up. Yep. And also, uh, the you know, the Punisher. So many other references. I mean, Claire is technically you, you, a okay. Character. Hey, what's up, Tyler Lockridge? Thanks for what's coming up, up, Tyler. Sai, I see. Uh, I don't mean she wasn't Colleen. From the comics, it's just that uh, acting wasn't great in general. Don't want to sound mean, but it lacks something. Totally agree. I can agree with that. That's yes, fine. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yep. There's definitely that's like fine. A, but I don't feel like she it. detracted from the show for me. No, it didn't make me now, like. Oh, now, God. one piece of acting from Iron Fist that I did particularly notice as an audio engineer and a vocal engineer specifically is one lacking scene from Finn Jones. What's that? Uh, it, I believe it's. Oh, I'm trying to remember the exact scene but it's one of the scenes where he's screaming like and yelling at someone and i can't remember who exactly he's yelling at it's either gal or what it, happened it, it's one of the it, I, his british accent comes through so hard he's oh, like yeah. yelling and screaming and you can <laughs> he, he could not keep his american oh, accent wow. like i heard the shit out of it and i'm british gonna, accent guys he that's, has a British accent. He, he is did Brit pretty good for the most of the like series. Like I said, that's pretty much the only the part only that I can. There's another one where it's slight, but yeah, that I is think the I only may have one. Heard but, a couple more quips, but, but it's okay. one or two little minor things where, and it's not even that he sounds British in those sections, just not necessarily 100 percent American. American, yeah, and and that Americans sound very specific when you 
get to know him, kind of, but at the same time, not. But think about this story, guys. Like, wow, he just came back from Kunlun. He's not depicted that much in the comics in that state. Not really. He's basically depicted as already have. First of all, we also see him in a state, and that's what the other thing people were complaining about, where he is not fully mastered. The Iron Fist. Yeah. Because, I mean, we see him all the time just kicking ass in the comics. In the like, comics, it's like no no Iron issue Fist, for him. Like, it's like, yeah. oh, cool. Iron he's Fist like this, Iron hands. Fist that. Iron Fist, boom, boom, yeah, boom. Yeah, he's yeah. two hands which beating everybody cool, down. Which cool references also in this one. We see the references yeah, to the references. previous. Mm-hmm. I saw that. Uh, I noticed that also. And that was Psych also Kennedy. immortal. Thank you for noticing. Yeah, that was uh, a good reference. If you remember that scene, let me know what the exact scene was, Psy, because I know it's a very specific, like, anger Where scene. Where he's, like, like yelling. Or yeah, he's, he's like, really screaming. Yeah. Oh, he's, like, screaming. Like, the loudest you ever see him scream in the entire mm. series, probably. It must have been a gal. Yeah, I want to say it was Gal. Like, did you kill my father or some shit? It's or, probably. Yeah. I don't think it was the Herald scene, because it was, like, in the middle of the series, I want to say. Man, or near the middle. Drugs are a big part in this series too. That they did a really good job, and that and here's the thing I will say: despite the fact that uh, uh, all the others, and we'll get to this, and this is why Iron Fist takes my spot as number three mm-hmm. uh, after Luke Cage. Is I believe personally that the villain set and the way they treated villains in Iron Fist is possibly one of the best ever. And we talked about the only exception being. The uh, the portrayal of the villain in the first season of The Flash, Yvart Thawne, was probably the only one that is more powerful. Oh my goodness, yeah. He's and besides that, though, they did, the way they displayed villains in this was such a great way because it wasn't a single, super powerful, con- you know, yeah, they were there, but it was really like, all right, here's two factions fighting. Yeah, and then exactly. there's these backstabbing corporate bastards. It's just like, it's, like kind of like, there's three main kind of like prongs of this series, like three main organizations that are all kind of, at one point or another, attacking each other. Lena Luther, Supergirl, is an Irish actor. You can hear her accent come through sometimes. She's from my hometown. Cool, that's nice, side. And uh, I've honestly got to say I never noticed, but it's probably because I'm not as familiar with the accent as you are. Yeah. So I could definitely see. Super give us cool. some give us some uh, examples. I'd love to go some listen and see if yeah, we can hear him. Yeah, love to. I, I I honestly think that that's probably one of my favorite accents is the Irish. Irish. Yeah. yeah, specifically. We'd definitely like to go hear it. That'd be cool. Yeah, awesome. Um, but th- and thank you for participating, Sai. So hopefully, you know, this week we're doing a ton of raffling. I think we've got like. I didn't think we talked about any of those, but I think it was two. So that's like five items to raffle off. We've got a lot of raffles, guys. So much. And it's like, it's a raffle, but it's really a giveaway slash prize thing. So hard to explain, but we got shirts. I guess we could show this, the, the next set of stuff, right? Yeah. Um, it's been a little while. We've got some people watching. It's those, I think they're right there. Might as well take a gander at some of the shirts here. Oh, oh careful now. I think it's this set right here that we rolled up earlier. It's like that. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're good. Oh. And right. so, from last time, guys. Here, yeah. I'll take half of them for you. Are we missing? Oh, there we go. I got this. So, we've got a Captain America, a little bit classic. Let's try to get it up in front of here. Oh, man, look at that. Don't you love classic Cap? Yeah, speaking of classic, we've also got... A Millennium Falcon one here. Woo! Look at that. Clean. I'm a. I'm personally a fan of this Doctor Strange. New Doctor Strange, you know, obviously the movie and etc. You gotta love those uh, British actors. They just bring it all together for Americans. And, of course, last but not least, this cool Death Trooper head with glowing eyes. Gotta love that. And uh, we have another set of stuff to show later, but, you know, we'll get to that uh, after this. You know, we just wanted to show you the shirts real quick, let you know that... <coughs> Uh, all you got to do is like the page, then like this video, comment, or share it, and, and then you're, you're in. in the raffle. Yeah, you're in the raffle, man, and and you could possibly win one of these. So, you know, thank you. Nice. Her name. <laughs> you guys have a line straight to my heart and bank account with that captain shirt. <laughs> That's awesome, oh, man. Tyler. Nice. It's a good, it's a good shirt, man. Yeah, Hopefully it is. You Hopefully you get it. It, it, was, it was a good shirt. So, yeah, so back to Iron Fist, man. I... You know, and I really we're like going it. into a little bit of race relations, but not too political. No. Um, there's some critics who are complaining that Iron Fist is a white character, and it makes sense because in Kunlun, most of the characters are Asian or of other ethnicities. 
he is the foreigner of Kun Lun. Right. You have to make him a foreigner. And, and I had an argument with my mother about this, and uh, we have interesting conversations in my house because it's a multiracial household. Her name is Katie McGrath. That's she cool. was also on the BBC show Merlin. She does a, does good, a good American accent. Right, That's good. I I hadn't checked out too much of Merlin, but I'd seen some of it. It was a good show. I heard it was good, yeah. Uh, and so we were talking about it, and my comparison was, all right, here, you know, there's times that it's there's justified and not justified. And the best example being, all right, let's say Gods of Egypt. Not a good, you know, that's not accurate to the story or any no Kulun, he is originally a, a white, white male, male who is from and here was my other thing about the offense from a fictional asian city yeah a fictional agency not a real agency literally one that they say is now this doesn't this doesn't exist on earth it's, it's like it's another it's another it's land. one of the seven capital, capital cities, cities of heaven. heaven yep yeah so it's like no these aren't you know no they're they're totally Come different, on, other man. dimensional beings. And he got and, and basically he was like a billionaire rich boy, and it just boom stripped away. You know, and, it just and, it happens. And so and suddenly in up. the middle of a warrior monk, basically village, which is crazy. Man. It is. It's insane when you think about it. And I, and we and I was explaining to my brother as we were watching because my little brother watched like watched with me and binged with me through like episode nine, nice, which is crazy for him who knows nothing about the. <clears throat> character oh my god it was so good i had to binge it through and it is so crazy to see how this character of danny rand you know is suddenly dropped in and then comes back and and is so good at fighting yeah you know what i mean like he is kicking butt and he is supposed to be he's supposed to be one of the top martial artists in the, in entire, the entire marvel world. World. not even that the universe. entire marvel universe like yeah. this guy can fight space aliens and you know, gods and demons and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, Danny Rand's on some other level kind of stuff. And they even <laughs> talk about it. There's a whole meme. Tyler, so what you're saying is I have to be rich to be a superhero because that, I am no scientist. That's not true. All right, here's my thing about that. All right. So all the Defenders, how they got their powers. Bam, Daredevil, accident, accident scientific yep. accident. Bam, Jessica Jones, born with it. Bam, Luke Cage, experimented in prison. Bam, Iron Fist gets picked up after a tragic accident and gets accepted into this village. And then, <laughs> and, then and then fights a, fights dragon. a dragon. And survives. The, the only person on the list who doesn't get his powers by accident. Man, I really wish they would have did a scene of that. They did oh. not. But they, imagine how expensive it would have made. That's true. They would yeah, have had yeah. to sacrifice or something so like, much so, else. Like, what I would have liked is like, so, like a clip, a mini clip. Uh, you know what I like, think would have been cool? Like a little cartoon thingy. That would I be like cool. how they do yeah, it at the like start of like animation. Some, yeah, it's just like just you know, Danny Rand versus Shao like that, Lao, that them dying animation in the opening was like dope. that. Yeah, like yeah. that, that like, would be cool. Like, little, like put the dragon, dragon in, there. in there. Yeah, and they didn't even explain like the tattoo very well, which is not a tattoo. Yeah, it's a mark. I mean, it's, it's a, a symbol, burn mark. Technically, the burn that he gets after after. Him, right? Well, all right. So I, I went back and read more and learned more, and so the the mark is from. It's a tat. Uh, it, there's actually a funny meme about it where uh -huh. Deadpool is talking to Danny Rand, where he's like, "Where'd you get that ta cool tattoo, Danny?" He's like, "Oh, it's not really a tattoo. It's kind of a burn." He's like, "Wait, what?" He's like, "Well, I kind of got it when I was fighting this dragon, and I kind of hugged him, and and he had a tattoo of a dragon on him, and so then that tattoo burned onto me." He's like, "Wow, that dragon is self-conceited. He had a tattoo of himself on his chest." What if it was a tattoo of his mom? Oh, <laughs> that's awesome, dude! It's a great meme. It's you don't have to find. It. It's one of the text memes. Not rich, just a particularly set of skills, says Adrian. True. Yeah, they, have they said Jessica Jones was born with her powers on the TV show? I think they did. I, 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 I think would she have said I, she was born. I don't think that they way. alluded to her being experimented on or anything. I think no. she was born like that. Or I think, I think so. Anyway, I mean, maybe not. Uh, they they very much made it seem like she was in this accident. And then she had powers. And it was a car accident, not a very, like, chemical. Yeah. And I mean, and then the, the thing was, no, they actually talked about it. Uh, it was her mother, right? But the, then wasn't her mother in the series or something? They were talking about how, like, she was adopted. Adopted, yeah. And so that she might, she was supposedly, like, a mutant or something. I don't know. There's a whole thing. Some or kind maybe of thing she was experimented on, on. Regardless, she did not earn her powers. What's up, Ashante? Welcome, dude. <laughs> 
Oh, thank you for coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She didn't but, like gain her powers through an accident or through experiment, direct experimentation, like we saw with the others. No, as far as we know, at least. Yeah, as far as we know. But like, even regarding that, like on the other side, it was not like Danny Rand who earned his powers by defeating a dragon and training in a mystic city. For that's that just time. insane, dude. Yeah, he fucking it's beats like, a he magic beats a dragon, dragon with his bare. Well, technic. I mean, technicalities. D- stuff. I mean, yeah, pretty much bare fist, and then that's what it's gives experiment him of some kind. Adrian Hall might be. It's, you yeah. might be right. I mean, dude, that, that Jessica Jones was hard to follow. Here's my for me. thing, and, and here was my other thing. We, I was having this conversation. That's like, man, they're so good at martial arts. I can't believe it. it was like, I don't know, man. He lived in a Mystic Warrior Monk City for like ten years. Ten he years. should probably be pretty good at martial arts. And that led to the conversation of man. It's like Batman's so amazing. It's like I don't know. Maybe if I was the richest man in the world and spent my entire waking life training to be a criminal vigilante. Who stopped? I might be pretty good pretty, at it. Pretty damn. If I had access yeah, right. to the best equipment, trainers, professors, and ever you have ex- all that the ever money, existed, you get all the best access. And L- just, literally, and they talk about it was training. They, they even say that as part of his origin. That well, and that's here's the thing. That's and, and I love Tyler Batman. said I could fight a dragon not so hard. Right, Komodo dragon. I don't know. I, there's a dragon called a Komodo dragon. Let's not be able to wrestle that down. That's bare fisted though. Bare fisted is my question. Could you, you fight a dragon bare fisted? Let's see. Do you think Danny's mom is really dead? They never showed her actually dead. We know what that I means. I think they leave that as an opening Open on purpose. Thing, yeah. The other thing, though, is we live in the Marvel universe with the hand, which makes, like, like all right, whatever. People come back all the time. Seriously? Literally, like, the people just with the, up Even up the what's time. his name show goes, who the hell knows? Gao is, like, talking about being from some number of years ago that we don't even know right basically <laughs> she's just, just like i don't care time. barefoot tyler's like i got this barefoot you know what you got the confidence i believe in you tyler you go do it and become the immortal iron fist right let us know <laughs> let us know how it goes man we'll go Shoot, hang out we'll, we'll see it glowing fists and man they did the, they did the actual iron fist they did that really, really well, well. The, uh, all the graphics were pretty good. Uh, there were some fight scenes that were kind of crazy, but in my opinion, a little and here shaky. Was, here was the thing: everyone was like, "It looks so choreographed." I'm like, "Wouldn't it be if you were like the best martial artist?" He's in like the a freaking smooth world? fighter. He's like easily yeah. slipping past him and just like and just like foosh, being fluid in fluid his motion. Here. That's how and, you're and it's not to, to be. say like it was the most impressive thing ever, but I just thought it was very beautiful and very like very graceful movement. And I thought it was very. Typical of the Iron Fist, and they even did the. They ended up doing because they show it in the preview, so it's not a, a surprise that they do the smash. Really cool. They don't overuse it, right? They might underuse it, but that's what I will say. They said not a lot of fighting. I really, really, really like that uh, reference though when he showed him the video. Whew. Great reference of. Yep, the that world. was cool, but not too many spoilers. Obviously, we yeah, haven't yeah. actually said anything. Showed him a video. Okay, that's and right. Every, right. I do that right now. <laughs> See this video? Hey, guys, see this video. Seriously, share it, though. Show it. <laughs> Combo yeah. Combos, episode 10. Thank you for coming for everybody's side. And Tyler. The slow-mo fight scene with the two Russian brothers was awesome. That was cool. It was. That was very cool. I also liked the uh, the fight scene with the, the uh, Drunken Fist. Oh, uh, yeah. He's just all yep. slipping right. past Danny. Don't wanna give, yep, we don't want to give too many yeah. spoilers, though. Um, and we were, we were moving on our thing. What was your third show for... Uh, Marvel. Oh, Iron Fist. Absolutely. It, it was Guys, tough for we me, gotta, though. We gotta clip so this tough. in. So, okay, it's like, was it between that and Daredevil Season 1 for you? Yeah. Yep. yep. That's, that's what it was for me. <laughs> and I was just like, I gotta hand it to Danny, though. He plays a really good new character in this in this Defenders universe. Like, I'm excited to see Danny develop. And I, I do. And I will say that's one thing that we didn't get a scene of was, like, the development, the development of him. Of him. And which I, we did see in a lot of the other and ones, including they Jessica They said Davis. in, the, in uh, the Defenders preview, they said that he's gonna, it's going to focus on him, like, developing himself, finding who he is, like, finding out about the Iron Fist. Which should be great. Which should be awesome. Yeah, I want to hear. Cool. Like, What's it's, up, Connor? Good like to I see said, you, The thing is, everyone wants to see that in this series, which they didn't get. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, this series is a build-up for Defenders. It is. And there are so many Defender shout-outs throughout the entire series. We get... Absolutely. We get uh, so many, guys. There's... There, look, there's Easter eggs. Just every on the look out freaking for where. Amazing. Every freaking where. I mean, even just the references to, okay, Hogarth. Yeah, I just had a private eye. Right? <laughs> uh, literally, yeah. Like, come on. And that's great. What's with these series and hallways? Yeah, I mean, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> hallways. That's just, it's a movie thing. 
Always. Always. Also, if Always. you if you haven't noticed the other another thing with these movies and tops of buildings. <laughs> like high buildings and high falling yeah. places. It's classic movie shit. It just is. Um and so after, like, we, we talked about it, my close one is for Iron Fist and then Daredevil season one season for me. Season one after Because that. it's such a good season. I, th- I thought you argued for uh, Jessica Jones after that. I was, I, I was kind of tempted, but th- the problem is Jessica Jones wasn't strong enough for me early on, and it didn't... Okay, Jessica do we Jones, have anybody in here who really likes Jessica Jones? I do know that, Let I think it was Adrian said that he liked Jessica Jones better than Iron Fist. I keep so, hearing people comparing the fight scenes to Daredevil's great fight scenes. If you do that with any show, the reviews aren't going to be great when comparing it to some of the best comic fight scenes ever produced. Exactly. exactly. And here was the other thing. I had people like, oh, it sucked compared to Luke Cage. Okay, well, yeah, man, dude. If you compare anything that's not as good as anything else and say it sucks because it's not as good as this, is it? nothing is his, ever going to... His story is the most <laughs> different, dude. They're, a lot of them are kind of like in the middle of like what's going on in their lives. They're kind of adjusted... In the sense that, relatable. like, yeah, they're a little more relatable. Like, and Danny fi- Danny is totally Danny is unrelatable. unrelatable as heck. Like, nobody, maybe a couple people in the world I think if maybe if you were kidnapped or abandoned, you probably understand. Or if your parents have died. It's one and of those issues. It's like, it's the same. Put into a Chinese uh, city. If, uh, and, like, that's the other thing is people are like, all right, it's just like Arrow, who is just like Batman, by the way. And it's like, yes and no. He is and isn't. And they portray him very well in this of being not very serious and naive. And mm-hmm. and people could play about him like that's who Danny is. Danny is this naive billionaire who never really learned how to be a billionaire. Yeah, he has no idea how to be a successful billionaire or even really a successful person here at the time that he's shown in the comic. Like he just came back from ten just years and freshly in back in another dimension. And I think people kind of look past that. He's different in the sense that okay, Luke Cage living in New New York. He's been there for a while. You know, he's adjusted to what's going on in life, and then something unexpected happens. But he's already adjusted. Danny is coming into this new, basically, you know, new past that is he's been gone for for oh 10 god so to long eleven years so so long like it's just like that's a long time think about how much how how foreign this looks to him he's Dude, that's like coming out of nine. jail you know what I mean yeah, it's like it's like coming talk out of about prison. it's like technology has moved on the social cues have moved on he didn't have a cell phone no he's like, What's I mean he didn't have shoes yeah. And, and, that, and that's just the cultural difference, I guess, you know, from where, or maybe he lost his shoes. Who knows? Well, Kun Lun just wasn't very technology. I mean, they hint at it. I mean, we won't spoil it too much, guys, no. but Kun Lun is a different it type is. of I mean, place. if you look into Kun Lun in the comics, we're not spoiling too much. It's just like, all right, it's different. It's, it's a, it's a monastery. Even if they had technology, they wouldn't use it. Exactly. Um, so Jessica Jones, let's talk about it. Why is it on the bottom of the list? Well, the, here's my thing about Jessica Jones is like, yeah, I was cool with the story kind of, but like the the actress had me iffy the whole time. I was like, I don't know if I really like her that much. And and, and I think a lot of my, <laughs> some of it's, I, I'm sure is I don't can't relate to her on any level. I'm not adopted, not a woman and don't have superpowers. So I'm striking it's, it's out. It's hard. Yeah. It's really <laughs> hard. To, and I'm, I'm not in an argument with my sister or anything. You know what I mean? It's just like, eh. And, and all that stuff is really like no, there we're not making tons of money or anything like my, you know, like not a private eye. Like even beyond that though, like as the story was just like all right, a lot of her problems seem like self induced. It's like all right, it's my fault. I'm sorry, my I killed my parents. Blam, I killed my parents. Cool. I mean, I'm not saying that's not tra- tragic, but then it's like all right, well, where is the relatable? Like endearing. That's not an endearing and like it's not a, a, a hero storyline. It's very hard to fall in love with Jessica Jones the because review, she's suffering. Reviews for that. still boggle my mind, but after you read them, I suppose you're going to be pleasantly surprised when you see the show Iron Fist. I mean, uh, agreed. Exactly. We couldn't yeah. understand. I just I, I couldn't understand why the critics just bashed it that hard. I'm like, like I, when was the last time they ripped anything that hard? They just needed one to attack, man. They did. They had to pick one, and 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 you could argue it is the weakest out of the pack. From some people, but it's just not my personal opinion. My opinion is Jessica Jones. Like it you is. said, it's unrelatable. And, and and some of the things that... She's just not an endearing hero. And, she's not. And she's just... It's like super strength, though. Great. But like, she's not... She's her not, powers aren't as cool as the other ones, first of all. She doesn't a show them a lot level. either. Yeah, she doesn't show them a lot either. Um, some of the actions that she does just are super stupid. Like, how is she going to get back with Luke Cage? Like... 
That's it's like they don't even rope that in at all. They make well, it worse. They might even. change. Yeah, I, don't. I mean, it could change the defenders. It probably all, will. I mean, we're, well, we're hoping to see more Luke and Danny interaction in defenders, <sighs> and, and then the coalescence. Guys, heroes for hire. We need to we see want some it. Power want Man it. and Iron Fist. That means we got to watch the crap out of Iron Fist, though. Tell people you love it if you like it. We if you got, don't like it, that's all right. Right? We got to get that back. We got to get okay. the Power Man and yeah. Iron Fist duo, man. Oh, man, the I love for it. Hire. They are. The other thing about Jessica Jones, and this, like I said, and this comes with not having an endearing, relatable hero, is it had a, a way better villain than the hero. Like, the Purple, Purple Man, Man was, was awesome. Amazing, As a guys. single individual villain, he's probably so, like on the top level of individual Absolutely. portrayals. He portrays this self-centered, violent, narcissistic psycho, basically, so well. Like... He basically takes what would happen, like, if a crazy person could tell have, and do anything he wanted to do. Right. <laughs> like, and it's great. They do so good, and that's so good. But you don't see him until episode six. Yeah, you like, don't see him until then, something. and then it's, it's just like, like oh, it, it doesn't really have a lot of involvement until a little bit later. I agree. Co- that's a good one. one. It's the kind of comic book show your mom could enjoy. It feels like it's a detective drama one. Like yeah, CSI, CSI, CSI it on. type of deal. Yeah. And that's dun, not dun, to say dun, like, dun, I don't enjoy dun. that stuff, but it's just like, I don't feel like it's as comic book. And so it doesn't rank it's as It's a detective show, and it's kind of just like, for me, these episodes just kind of flow by a little too slowly. Like, I'm just like, oh, man. Especially I'm the early. The, the, the pacing end. of that one for me is the so slow. The pacing are just... Oh. It's like to get to the actual and the, story, and I'm just like I, the first three episodes. I'm just like, is this just her and Luke Cage banging? Like, is that right? Is that all this about? is about? It's like, like the first four or five episodes. It's really it. She's and that was honestly some of the best part of Luke, Jessica Jones was Luke Cage. Yeah, I'm like, I want to see this guy more. Yeah, like, like where's where's Luke Cage? Ass. And that's a, like I said, a little bit personal bias maybe, but I just don't. I didn't feel that it was as strong. Like Jessica Jones didn't feel like it hit all those spots that needed to hit as a comic book origin no. series like like i said we still know next to nothing about her powers realistically their application i mean it's just pretty much super strength and flight is but that's the but, thing we don't know where it's fly, from why she? yeah like she does she's, she can jump right now i think or she thinks she can fly it's so weird like we don't know because she doesn't do it She's not I, the and hero I, and right I now. Just, I want to see some more connection between her and Luke Cage, man. I just we want more development more of her. Like, yeah. Can we get a more development of her as a personal character, as a hero? Because right now she just doesn't, like I said, she's non-endearing, non-relatable, yeah. personally. And that's how I feel. I feel like she's just and you know, hard to Maybe it's because I'm not an to... alcoholic either, because that was another big part of it that I feel like I couldn't relate to was the alcoholism. Oh, yeah, she was really... Like, I understand really it. Really heavy alcoholic. But I, it was one of those things where it's like, I don't... It's such a part of the story that I'm like, I understand she's an alcoholic. Get past it. Right? It's like, eh, uh, we could get past that, too. And, man, I mean, Iron Fist, guys, just check it out. I mean, like... Like I said, make really your own decisions series. and rank it yourself. Ra- really. Rank it. You got... What is, what, and what is your least favorite? Like, right. Is it Iron That's, Fist? Is it? And why? And why? And, yeah, and let us know why it it's Iron Fist. It's fine to have it's, an opinion. We just and and know he's why. like a kung fu master, guys. In the sense, in the sense that people kind of didn't get, he's fluid in his movements. Very, like he said, he's centered in himself, and that's the problem. I like, love the whole Colleen's. description of it. Yeah, yeah he was like, telling her, he's like, the problem with theirs is like, you're focusing all your rage outward when you should be inward, when you should have control. Man, that was just... There was a lot of great things. There's and not even, great like, things. we have a post on the page, one of the photos, um, that is the quote that he tells the guy in the park that ODs, which is the, uh, you know, as long as the cycle of existence continues, or lasts, as long as the cycle of existence lasts, may your happiness never decline. Beautiful. And, well, and the, the part after that it is, may you find the peace of the Boda Vistas, but... That is not as relatable as that first part, mm-hmm. and so I cut it short a little bit for the meme. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you put the I, perfect I just did, amount in there. It's marketing, okay? Um, now, here's something that I'm going to throw a wrench in, and because it's not a Netflix show, but it almost feels like it's structured like one. Legion. Yeah. What? What's your thoughts? Like, where are you also? I mean, uh, Legion, I'm actually two episodes behind, I think, because it's where he was in the factory or whatnot. Oh right, when they're in the at the end. Yeah. Yep. yep yeah, you're probably behind. two episodes behind. But so far, those I'm these last two. It. Oh, these last two episodes have been the stand. This last one. 
Okay. Might be, I don't want to overestimate, but it's one of those great episodes of something. Like, as far as, like, a singular episode mm-hmm. contained, just amazing. And the, the not just that, like, the way it fruitions some of the series being that it's the penultimate episode, the ultimate episode being next week. Mm-hmm. And it's already been confirmed for season two, I believe. Wow, um, greenlit, huh? I think so. Uh, which I wouldn't which doubt at all because it's, it's it it is literally so, it's not what you thought at it first. is it's almost not a comic book show it's, it's a horror it's show a horror yeah like psychological it's, horror. It's a psychological thriller it's the first of its kind first of all there's nothing like it yeah Marvel and DC the, have never explored these kind of types yeah it's in the vein of something kind of like a mix of maybe Saw and Disturbed or what was that one I see the one remember of Halle Berry where she killed she was the murderer. Spoilers, or maybe it was somebody else. Disturbed. I don't remember. I can't remember the name of the show. Only watched episode one, Far Behind. Oh. Legion is very hard to follow. I find the character one of the most unreliable yet. Oh, I love it. It's so oh, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I will say the first episode is probably the slowest. Uh, it's weird because I preferred Iron Fist to watch over Luke Cage, but I think Luke Cage was a better show. Hope you know what I mean. Yeah, I understand. I... It's something about the watchability of something versus the story. Sometimes, exactly, exactly. So, for example, uh, let me, what's up, Jordan? By the way, so for example, fa- Family Guy is much more watchable than any, any of these shows. shows. Yeah, because it's mindless <laughs> kind of drivel and it's droll. Easy, it's easy it's, to follow. I mean, it's just in, it, funny. in and out, in yep, and out, in and simple, out. very straightforward. Not a lot of twists and turns. You don't have to pay attention to it no, either. Really, that's really the thing. You can laugh and be dumb. Yeah. yeah. And not just be dumb, but just be mindless, I guess, and kind of enjoy it without thinking too hard. It's like Always oh, Sunny in Philly, all these shows that are just comedy. And right, where it's just, all right, they're funny, yeah, and they're, like, they're outlandish. Cool, cool. The Simpsons is the same way. There's tons of shows that are the same way. There's nothing wrong with them. And it's good to, like, multitask these kinds of oh, shows. Oh, yeah, too, it's like, okay, you put that on the background and do something. Yeah. It literally, me, me and Leo know a lot about these shows <laughs> because of that. But, hey, Jordan, thank you for joining um, but yeah, dude, I, like I said, I, if, if you haven't given it more than one episode, I always give a show a couple episodes before the I first one off. is a little bit weird in the sense that it's just like exploring all this stuff. It's trying to kind of, it's trying to throw you off a bit. So like, keep on watching. You get, you start to hit the thing is, it is definitely, three. yeah. And it's definitely a TV show sure. in the set way that net, it's not a Netflix show to necessarily needs to be based through. Right. Like you can w- wait a week or two even before switching on to the next episode of Legion and still be like, all right, this is kind of like cliffy and yeah, it's cliffhanger. But I will say point. that the point is that this is not an action comic show. This is not, this is no, very this much is not Marvel for crazy work. people. This yeah. is, if, and that's the thing you have to understand going into this. This is not a, this is not a Superman. This is not a Batman. This is a, what would what, what if the Joker was uh, the main focus of the story almost? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Like literally, and if you don't go Jeez, into it, that, man, I mean, it. he is just a crazy guy. Oh man, guys, you gotta admit he's just well. He's and if you don't know sick. anything about Legion, I think that would be the thing. Like if you're not a character that you're intimate with, you David might... Haller is very psychotic, guys. Oh, and they're getting into so much connection in these last episodes. Recently, man. got into Re- Rick and Morty. What have I been oh, doing with my life? Oh, you got. Well? I have to start watching we- Rick and, Legion. I mean, you will. Rick and Morty is amazing. Me, Rick and Morty is awesome. Probably one of the Ooh, best. One of the best of uh, that kind. Like that. Well, it's very cartoon. unique. I don't think there's another cartoon show out of realistically like that. Like, it, yeah, it no, occupies not at all. the, but the just, closest. I guess I just meant like TV comedies. Oh no, and and there's some that are close. For example, Futurama bridges it sometimes, where it bridges the line between seriousness and comedy. Mm-hmm. Morty just does it to a far greater extent and like very sub cute and stuff not to say that either show is better than another but there's the shows that are those deep shows that are also these co- comedy, comedy shows yeah, yeah i they see just what you mean yeah not they, only they that like into that a lot it's yeah. so hard and and don't get me wrong like it is very similar to shows like it like family guy and future but it's so but different. it's a lot different yeah it, because and it even has if those, just, mo- those mm-hmm. serious moments those Moments of drama that you just don't have in, like, a family guy or a feature. Right, right. like the whole, what's it, episode six or five in season one where they they screw up the whole world? Yeah, it's episode the, six. Yeah, season one. yeah. And I've seen all both seasons several times. I've see, seen the spoilers, watched the the fan the fan-made the, court in Georgia. 
Did you watch the Rick Rolled? I have seen the Rick Rolled the little trailer. Yeah, I got I got Rick Rolled. Yeah, <laughs> I was only the only thing I was mad about that is they didn't make it more smooth to like actually. Yeah, you were the one that said that thing because I was like somebody was saying they didn't make it more smooth, but I liked it. It, it was, was kind of cool. like Rick and Morty style, it, and, and I knew what it was. But if it was more smooth, I think it would have been one of those catchy things that where people were like, "Oh, they Rick Rolled me," but this is awesome, and I can like post right? this everywhere <laughs> and like. Oh, well, it was getting some circulation. It was, but it ain't anymore no. because of that. I feel like like it doesn't sound like. Because that would be my new Rick Roll song. I wouldn't right? play the original. <laughs> it would be Rick and Morty Rick Roll all day, every day. That would be super cool if they did it to like music and it t- exactly. It up. And, and you didn't have to do it perfect, but even just putting the music behind it. But then you'd have to get the rights. I can see why they yeah. did it. It's just one of those things where I was like, oh, music business. Yep, I we know about that. Yeah, the right stuff. I love Rick and Morty though. It's so awesome. Can't wait for season three. Come oh, on, guys. I've been waiting for so long. We've oh, like I said, I, I, I don't remember when I hopped on, but it was before season two dropped. I definitely hopped on. And it was because people, had, someone had told me, it was like, this is an awesome show. And I had seen like two episodes. I was like, I had liked it, but I never had a place to really watch it. And then they had it on Hulu. So, so then there you go. Yep. And it was so good, guys. Like if you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's by far one of the, my top picks for animated comedy, comedy adult period. humor. Uh-huh. I mean, I was I was just gonna go period, into, like, even. top ten of period. Like, I there's mean, some really good comics out there, that, or com- or animated series out there, oh, though. Absolutely, man. I like I Steven even Universe you gotta see. I got a list of them here that some burns from my like, Uncle Akira, Shadow Skills, nice, uh, man. Curse of the Demon Yoma. I said next week we do an anime theme. That would be nice. In re- in dedication to. Oh no, we gotta do. Power no, we got a Power Rangers. Rangers it's review. the one after that because the um, Ghost, Ghost in the Shell. Yep, Ghost in the Shell. Which, like I said, they have that side by side scene thing. Like, the, granted, the acting po- choices of whitewashing again, but the the portrayals were on yeah. Point. The, the 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 imagery was on point, one hundred percent. There was no difference in those two side by sides. You know what I mean? I will Which say, awesome. little sunglasses guy, eh, not feeling. But that's okay. I mean, he's not. There's, we're not gonna like everything. Main either. importance, right? Like, we gotta major see, is. right? We gotta see how the major d- comes out in this one. Which they eliminated the Kuzanagi man. Which is like, uh, mm, it's well, we'll see. whitewashing. But we'll see how it works out, guys. I mean, maybe it'll end up being a good Americanized version of the film. Yep. We'll, we'll see. Check it out. Yeah, we'll have to see. There's nothing you can do with that, right? I slowly dropped away from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I did like it, but just unconsciously stopped being excited to watch it for whatever reason. Might try it again, but I'm watching like 30 shows right now. Or subconsciously, should I say. No, I under I agree, and I was the very the same way for a very long time. Like I I watched You're it caught at first. Up now aren't you? Oh no, I'm not caught up again. No, uh, just because I'm not caught up on so much like Flash, Supergirl. I, I'm All never the, gonna catch them. DC shows, man. Just I fell off, they fell off on this last one. The the Supergirl season two didn't start strong enough for me to get into. Although I think it was Cy who told us it was really good season two, and mm-hmm. we need to check it out, and we will give it a few more episodes. I yeah. want to wait for the seasons to be done because then I have. The binge. A binge, yeah, the binge, like man. I like, and, like, and that's why Netflix is doing so good. Mm-hmm. And and like I said, right now the Marvel has brought their game to the table, and they have so many more shows coming out now with Punisher, with Defenders, with the Moon Knight possibilities. We've got the Runaways, Runaways, on Hulu. yeah. Oh my god, we've goodness. got the new X Men TV series, then the X Men movie. We've got a new Sony movie for uh, Venom. We've got. We've got Thor so this many year. announcements Guardians coming of the through. galaxy this uh, year. And we've got um, Spider-Man, Homecoming. Literally the only Wonder thing... Wonder Woman, Justice League. Literally just... the only thing Marvel needs to do to get to... The only thing they're lacking behind right now, besides their little bit of comic sales, but it's because everyone's focused on their other side of the media. Yeah. Uh, besides that, they need to focus on their animated series. Where, where and, is and it? movies. Where, where are like, their animated Like, please, Marvel, if you did more... They have it, but it's just so inconsistent in style. That's what I was going to say. Like, state. where's the connection? Where's the, the characters? Building. There's no universe. There's no... It's just no another coherency. show. It's like, oh, here like, you go. Like, everything that went great with their, their movie universe, they said, fuck it with their animated universe. <laughs> like, literally, they're the like... ties, man. We need the and ties. And I think it's, it's the rights, though, too. It's like, DC does own all the rights to their stuff. They do... And that, that's but, how they can afford to have that Arrowverse going on. Oh, I don't even think that's their best one. Because that, like I said, the animated, I feel like TV the shows. animated one they, is their That best. now Marvel is probably caught up. Like, if not surpassed with the recent Daredevil season two. Like I said, in my opinion, number one TV show series 
like at least season ever made. Daredevil season two, man, absolutely. There's just no that Netflix the Punisher, line to me is the some of the best ones. Now, if they come hey, thank out you, with them, Susie. Hey, Susie, what's the up? The last two episodes are the best ever, in my opinion. I haven't caught up on Arrow. I've heard views are down, is what I've heard. But that's and obviously I, old is about to become a hero. Uh, guys, I'm sick of Felicity. I just said, like, It's not uh, even that. Like, give her a series then. Yeah, just get Where's her out her of the series? way, like, man. We'll just put spotlight. her on her own focus. And then, like I said, I, I'm not caught up with Arrow. I couldn't I'm, I couldn't get past season one. Like, I've tried. It's it's really hard to, man. Like, honestly, season two is a really good season. But I've heard that. I heard season two, he kind of comes into his, like, not as dark Avenger role. And yeah. he comes into the Oliver Queen we know well who, yeah, he's dark and he can be, but he's like. But I, I like that jokingly, Ollie. You know what I mean? Yeah, the one like that the, pops the, the one with the, 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 the boxing glove. Yeah, that's classic yeah, that's, that Green is Arrow. Ollie, man. That is one of those things that's classic Green Arrow, not Hawkeye. Just saying, and I like Hawkeye. <laughs> Me too. Uh, even as Absolutely. a character, maybe better. But like, that's classic Green Arrow that I don't get to see in this that I saw even in Justice League, the animated oh, look, series. I haven't watched this week's episode yet, but it's not that great this season. Oh, Arrow. Yeah, I mean, I tried stomaching a few episodes, every, every, and I was like, well, and everyone's got different tastes. So like you said, like I love Legion, but there's some people who just don't like it. But there's so much in Legion that's it's like a freaking horror show, man. It's like. It's hot. Freaky. It's up and down. It is, and it's like it's crazy. Like I, I imagine it is it as if like someone had, who is crazy had made a TV show about a crazy person. Yeah, because those, especially those like red scenes that just oh anytime happen, like, or what? anytime the sound or audio goes just, weird. The, yeah, like oh man, when it just cuts out. Or... Oh, you like I said, these last two episodes. Like, and that's the other great thing about Legion. Legion continues to escalate. There is Legion no is going legit. down. Uh, thank you, Susie. <laughs> yeah, it builds. Right, if it... you're caught up, but no, it does. It's <clears throat> episode seven. Like I said, has been the best episode so far, and I that's expect good. episode eight will probably be even better. Because that's like the last of the season, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's yep. only that's the other thing is it's such a short season for a TV series because it's F, first of all because FX has their own sh channel. I don't give a crap. But man, it was so good. Love. Oh, Jazzy, thanks for coming well, in again. Watching Legion. Me too. Yeah, we'll have Legion to watch it good. together sometime. Prop maybe, maybe next week. It's such a good. Like I want to get popcorn and turn off the lights and like get scared. Right? It's it's so and, and good it's, and it's like easy to get caught up in. Like you could easily just get into it because not only are the visuals great, the story is compelling, but it's also complicated to that point. It makes you focus and pay attention on the show. Right? There's no you have real, to be attentive. Yeah, you know? and and there's like I said, the first episode has probably the hardest pacing. And then every episode after that, the pacing gets increasingly better. Yeah. And Inc I think that might have been the point, you know? They wanted to throw us off a little bit in the first. They just wanted to test run. Yeah, I could agree I, with that. I can agree with you. Uh, Psy Kennedy for Arrow is sure hit or miss. Or not that part, but my favorite T show ever is The Flash. So I always thank Arrow for that, as Flash wouldn't exist without Very it. So true. you're right. Flash is great. And, Flash, and, my, and I love Flash. Uh, Flash is season amazing. Season one was amazing. Season two was pretty good. Season three, I haven't... I gotta catch up. I've been, I felt like it wasn't as strong what, what I was watching, just because it was very impermanent, uh, the consequences stuff. But I think that's been kind of resolving in the latest ones, although I've been hearing mixed mm -hmm. things. You have convinced me to watch Legion. Hey, yeah, it, I'm telling you, Josh... If you got to power through episode one to the end, literally, it's basically to the end is where you're wanting to get. And then episode two starts you in an area where like more comfortable episode three. If I remember correctly, you're just like, what? what? And then after that, it kind of the pacing just starts to get a little more sensible where you can actually follow it a lot easier. The thing is, it's supposed to be crazy, though. It's about a crazy Crazy person. guy. Like, literally. It's, like, it's oh. in the head of this crazy, psychotic dude. And that's the whole backstory, even, of David Holler is being crazy. Mm -hmm. It's like, all right, here's this guy with multiple personalities. Have fun. Oh, also, he's a super powerful mutant. With different powers for each one. Yeah. Omega level powers Omega each. Every single one. That's always what blew me away. One Omega mutant is like Storm or... But not even a storm is like no she she can be, uh but like Phoenix Jean Grey Phoenix uh people people, people like that, Apocalypse that and freaking even Magneto's not in the Michael no, no he is yeah, no, he I, is I would say he he can be but he's he like is that he, has fullest potential yeah but he often America. hurts himself yeah when he does that but he is every episode was mind blowing and it just escalates every episode 
Agreed. Agreed I, I will say, though, that episode one is not mind-blowing. It's like 45, 45 minutes, minutes in. in. Yeah, you're it's like, like, you're like, okay, he's in the mental hospital. And then you're now like, now what? What? Yeah. What is this other, these other scenes? And you shit? gotta be crazy to understand crazy, Jazzy says. So <laughs> true. She knows better than most. <laughs> oh, man. I loved it. I loved every... I've been loving every TV show that's been coming out. There's not one that I would just say... Uh, for the Marvel uh, like, like, yeah, there's Jessica no bad, Jones is Jessica Jones not is my closest good, like, one. It's to, not horrible. I was so close to giving up, but I powered through. Powered it, through. And I found a good show at the end. I found a six or seven Susie out of Susie said, yeah, true. Do you mean about Jessica Jones? Because, like, yeah, we're just kind of like... Ee. I think she means about all this show the shows being pretty good. Yeah, they're really and I agree, good, they're all amazing. making very good prizes. They're, first of all, they're sticking true to their freaking source material which is important they are. at and least impressive. to a decent amount yeah, yeah they're imp- they're sticking to it in, at an impressive amount which you wouldn't expect for some of these shows that kind of popped up out of the blue like they didn't even have that much time and that's, like. and that's one thing about shield i will say that despite its ups and downs is like plot and interestingness the amount of references and introductions in shield are astounding you see people and origins and references that you would never, never see elsewhere see deathlock graviton uh, I could keep listening. There were ones I didn't know. You know what I mean? But there's just so much cool yeah, stuff. Yeah, Agents, I, ha- I have not watched past it's like not five very or six easy. episodes. And honestly, like I said, it might not even... Luke Cage thoughts? Man, Luke Cage. Love we, it. We definitely talk a lot we, about like that. Like I said, we me and him, the... we've ranked it as our number, number two. Number two, yeah. Because which... the, the, just the references to the blackness. And going back to me, you know, I'm an African American. And just seeing these really good... Co- cultural references to my background is really awesome hip-hop culture um just blackness culture even oh, period yeah. and all kinds of different really nice urban references oh yeah urban and, and very well. much urban and then personally i you know i'm mixed but i'm minority even more so into that mm-hmm. extent and because i'm into that too yeah and and it talks you know like i said that's very relatable even like to the very minor extent sometimes it's shown but then also to the major extents like there's there's huge things about the 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 lawyers or the lawyer in training son uh being beaten by the cops that was the whole thing and mm-hmm. what i thought was so powerful about that was it was a black cop yeah because it it highlights the fact that yes there's racial tension but it's not just, just about, about race, race. it's yep. about power and in even area like you said if if you were it would matter mixed you're... reviews I haven't watched it yet Luke a Cage lot of the, actually got quite a bit of good. It did, but it also got mixed on the villain and the ending. Yeah, which are the biggest parts I will say. Say so more mixy. Yeah. yeah, but they they weren't bad enough no. to make me derail. No, or I like the scene, and I'm waiting for season two and the defenders to see him again because the character was interesting. <sighs> Amazing, I thought. I love. Oh, he him played as a great Luke Cage. Cage. He played a Luke Cage that I always thought Luke Cage would be. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. He didn't like, really play that goofy heroes for hire type of. But, like, he really played a good Luke Cage in, like, modern I, era. I felt like stern, he played the... Well, chill. I felt like he played the Cage for the storyline, which was a storyline of him having been framed and oppressed and experimented on. And basically... Yeah. And they even talk about how Luke Cage's origin story is a reference to the... Was it the Tuskegee experiments? Or is it the... I forget the ones, but it's the, the syphilis experiments they did. Yeah. And, yeah, and that's And like that's we said, we won't it. get too political, but those are such heavy it connections cap, and references. It was a cap serum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was one of the... Well, that was his original one, was a cap for formation. He is the epitome of what Luke Cage is supposed to be. The problem people have with Flash is the main villains have all been speedsters. I understand that to an extent, but the reason is a good thing. The only people who give him a real challenge is a speedster. From his own set of villains, anyway. It'd I, be weird if it'd be weird that it took him a whole season to beat the likes of Captain Cold or Mirror Master. I agree. And here's the problem, though. And this is a problem with Flash's character more than the show. It, when you write such a powerful character that that's the only thing that can challenge him, he becomes more boring and predictable. Like it becomes exactly. much harder to write it's interesting new content. It's not fresh anymore. Right, and this is a problem Flash has always had because it's like. You have to either write the Flash as stupid or put in someone ridiculously powerful to face him because he is so ridiculously powerful. He can change timelines, Time lines. change the past, I mean, he has infinite several times. punch. I mean, when you go into the comic books, he's as close to God as almost anyone can be. Superboy Prime says the only people he's afraid of are Flashes. And he actively hunts them down because of that. Like, literally, the only thing. He's they not afraid change of the time, time, technically, dude. Yep. Make it so that people never exist. It's really hard. 
for him. And so that's why the original se season of The Flash was so great. Because he had this powerful speedster villain, yes, but not really. Like, the speedster wasn't his villain. His, he was learning his powers and facing these villains and becoming the Flash. Mm -hmm. And then he had, he a, had speedster. a speedster villain. And so, but the problem that was, was where the, do great, you... the best part about it, but then where do you go with all right. the speedsters and stuff? Right. Now, now it's like the other thing being is like he's the fastest man alive, but is he though? Really? He gets beat by like Wally every other speedster. Wally technically beats him. In the comic books, Wally West has stated several points. And unless you count New 52 stuff, maybe. And even then, I think... Well, there's been several times when he's been referenced as faster than The Barry. faster than Barry, yeah. And he, he himself and other people, not just Wally saying, oh, I'm, I'm faster than Barry ever was. No, other people saying like vouched for him. I think even Barry, on his return, talked yeah, about how... Yeah, didn't he say that... That Wally, Wally had pushed the speed pushed force faster, faster than, than he had ever... He outran death? He did. When every other Flash couldn't, couldn't he outran... He outran death. But didn't he become... And then and, and there was a whole thing... And that, that's what's going to happen to him. Actually, they say that's what's going to happen to him in um, the new Young Justice. Is that he, like, somehow got trapped in the speed force and maybe he outruns death at that point. Right. And doesn't end up dying from that experience. Well, maybe just that, well, the speed force I think thing that, would I be think a it's a little too deep for, yeah, like, an animated bit. show. But, like, it could happen. Wait, I we'll can't see. see Flash going too many more Me seasons. Either. They did One or two. Too fast. One or two, yeah. Like I said, we, we're tired of seeing speedsters over... The thing is, you need to pull in... He's pulled in, and that was the great thing, too. He That was why Flash was so great as a superhero thing. He was pulling in other heroes. Problem is, they went the super, the Smallville route and pulled in too many. Yeah, uh, they were just pulling in a Wally West and all these other... And it was cool to bring in Wally, but, like, all all the people... All like the, the Flashes Supergirl and all, all, all the, the Flashes. Like, we had Jesse Quick. Even before that, we had, like, like, an like, Impulse <sighs> ripoff. We had... Uh, too much, man. Too much. We have two... There are three different, four different speedster villains, if you count Protege or whatever his name was, or and it's just too many characters in general. Yeah, too like, much to keep oh, track geez, of. Like, there's so many little, villains. Like I said, why was team. Daredevil so great? Two cameos. That's it. That's it. Minor characters not included. Then you have the nurse, and that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just the nurse, Claire, Claire, Claire Temple. Um. And He's that's for great. sure that's underrated a, as a hero. He his maximum power can be anybody, right? Flash. Pretty much. If I mean, he with just very backs few, up enough and there's like very himself, there's very few people like cosmic level and magic beings are probably some of the only people that could challenge Flash. Mm -hmm. Anyone who could resist time or resist time flow effects or stop him from affecting time flow, which there's several characters that could. Um, Lex Luthor even being one given the chance and opportunity, like pre oh, pre planning, just crazy smart, or even Batman given the pre planning, pre -plan. but that's pre planning and and even and then it's in, like right we've seen, in there, right, right. and then there. it depends on writers because that's the problem also with the those simplistic power sets like Superman and the Flash. There are How some writers he, who will just gauge his power so high, like he. It's like he breaks break through whatever the, time the thing. Yeah. Or well, not yeah. even just the time. It's like, oh, he broke through whatever force was before, keeping him from doing it. Mm -hmm. Like before, it was enough to stop his speed, but he went beyond his speed to the point at which point then that's supposed to be the whole go too fast, get stuck in the speed force thing, which has become a non sequitur now because everyone comes back. Like Let's I said, see, the problem. So I is, had a comment here. Yeah, I like. I can't him. see. Grant oh, yeah. Gustin wanting to stay too for long either. For sure, gonna be a Wally West spinoff. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Because like, think about it this way. Even guys, then, like, though, how long? West, how many seasons are we gonna get out of that? Two or three, maybe. I mean, it's like how, we many, just how much longer switch. are we gonna want to put up with it? You know, like, it's the uh, same reason like we're not gonna get a ton of new Iron Man movies or a ton of new Avengers movies after Infinity Wars. People have seen it. Like, what are you gonna do? Unless you add another new story, more new characters. Change the season, switch the focus to I a new I think they're going to focus on that Netflix universe a lot Dude, more. Dude, I want to see DC jump into the Netflix universe. Or Hulu or something. Like, I want them to I want them, them to jump, jump away from TV because it's. I feel like that's what's crippling. That's the only thing between Flash Season 1 and Daredevil Season 2 that I... Why I put it higher. As the, my highest one is because it's designed more like a comic book that you could just go through. Mm -hmm. And granted, yes, comic books are designed week to week, but that's not realistically how the writing is designed. You know what I mean? Exactly. And like, I just, the writing is designed for you to be able to go through it all like a comic. You flip, you can flip through all the pages, you know, and then that's how it's designed to be. And I know there's issues and issues in the episode, 
But like we want the volume, man. right? And realistically, some volume, of your favorite baby. times of reading comics are waiting for your next comic to come yeah, you out. Can that sucks. Through so right, many you want to go through an old one and be like, yeah, dude, I got through the whole super. Like one of my best examples of that is Joker's Last Laugh. Kid yep. Flash, yeah, DC versus Marvel TV series. God, I love I it, but they just ah, man, like first a little of all, crossover they, quick. They, they're right. They haven't done any crossover since the '90s, guys. They are they hate each other. Yeah, for they're some not going right to do it right now. Not, they, There's too many get, people. We can't okay. even get Marvel to. Do its own we stuff. We gotta blame this on the fans. There's so many DC versus Marvel. Like, no, I'm only DC. No, I'm only Marvel. No, I would hate that. It's not They're even not just that, though. That. The, now we're stuck in this whole licensing business world yeah, that's that gotten even worse. Legal matters are huge. That's what I think blocks it, at least from the big screen. Maybe the comic books we could get back going again. But the big screen, the rights are just not there for Marvel. Grant loves musicals and dancing in theater. I really feel like he's not into the Flash character that much. He'd rather do other things while he's in his 20s. I oh. didn't know that, but it's good to know. Wow, good to know. Yeah, I, I wouldn't much Oh, didn't they just Flash, do a musical it? episode of The Flash? Are you serious? I feel like they just did a musical episode of one of those th two Sounds shows. Sounds weird, but that's my take on him. You think he's, like, sick of it? Yeah, he kind of comes off that way sometimes. I, I would like be after a couple of seasons, physical, man. Yeah. Like That's the thing. No one's None of these people are necessarily signing up for the Hugh Jackman treatment of you know, and or the the Tony right. Stark. They're just like a eh, couple seasons, and then they get into, it and they're just like, all right, I'm bored, right? Well, like, and at, at a, after a Grant time, was it, on Glee. Wow, huh, that's crazy. Didn't know that. The other thing is, I gotta assume that it's before their careers. Like, you don't want to get stuck in this one role. You don't want to have Daniel Radcliffe Being known for a lot, right? Oh, well, wow. what was the Smallville? Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> Harry Potter, forever. And like no, always, and, always forever. and forever. Doesn't matter what you see in him, and that's what you remember. And even characters like the original actor for Smallville's Clark Kent was like he got shoehorned into that role at a young age and then didn't really go anywhere didn't go else. Anywhere else. And and partially because he didn't have any acting experience prior to that. But at the same time, like you can get shoehorned into these spots and then no one wants you for anything but that kind of character because that's what they see. I as. will say Ryan Reynolds has had a, quite the tenure in the superhero universe. Like he's been able to bounce around quite a few times. He's done a little bit. Hasn't he? Well, yeah, because he's done Green Lantern, that detective cop thing when they were dead and stuff. R.I.P. It's technically a superhero. It is, but it's not <laughs> like superhero. Yeah, superhero. and then Deadpool. I mean, you know. And he's been in a couple more action movies. There's someone who does a ton on both sides, and I can't remember what his name. But he like literally switches characters on really? side. Oh, a a bunch, and in the and in so many going so far back, you'd be surprised. Really? But I can't remember. Yeah, his I name. think I saw some, but was it an Asian guy? Might be. It's it's definitely uh, I think one of the uh, a minority actors just typecast. Oh, for a lot Zod of as Cable. That was uh, what Did I was. Did you see for, that? You know? Did you see the? We'll the see if it news? goes though. Tom, it's Adrian Hall. Tom, the musical well, episode wasn't awesome. so bad, although I'm blind to the Flash, pun intended. So yeah, there was a musical episode. Tom Welling, ripped. What's up, Dino? Tom Welling, yes. The musical episode wasn't so bad. Tom although I'm something. blind to the Flash, pun intended. Wow, <laughs> very likable personality. Gotta say, it might be Tyler. I'm not sure. It's been oh man. It's such oh, crazy. R.I.P.D. Squad was what it was called. Oh, that's right. Which that one was bad, man. Poor, uh, poor Ryan Reynolds. He's been thrown into a couple of just really. I mean, you got to pick though, man. You don't get thrown that much, man. You yeah, you, you got to pick and choose your battles, like your agent might throw a script at you and you might be like, "What were you thinking?" and throw <laughs> it behind you. What's up, Scott? He played Clark on Smallville. Tom Willing. Yep, yep, that's right. Tom Willing. And he he got kind of shoehorned into that spot and. and it, who was it that uh, the Lex said he wanted to do some stuff for Marvel? The la, la, the actor from Smallville who played Lex. Oh, okay. I was like, are you talking about uh, no, not, Eisenberg? No, not Eisenberg. God, I hated that casting choice. Oh, man. I did not like and him he, as Lex, dude. I'm he like, didn't do that great. He did better than I expected. He would have been a better the, like Riddler. Riddler or something. I would yeah, have loved exactly. him as Riddler. Exactly. Because his personality was a lot more... And know, I hate to say that's a little bit of... Like I said, it was a little bit of my thing. Because he wasn't as bad as I thought he was going to be. You know what I mean? I thought he was going to be absolutely horrid. By the <laughs> it was pretty bad for me, man. He was only a 4 out of 10 for me. I thought it was going to okay. be like 1 out of 10. You know what Fair. I mean? I thought it was going to be the worst... Fair. The worst... 4 out of 10. But come on, we needed like a bald, brooding guy. We needed guy. an 8. Like we needed like... Yeah, exactly. Because that would have set the movie... 
probably would have set the bar a lot higher for the, me. For I this don't movie know because it wasn't. There was a lot of versus like Superman I said, was not that good, man. Like I said, everyone uses box office numbers. Like it got box office. Well, I can lie to everyone and say it's great, and they'll come and watch it once. It's I mean, like, that that movie got the Raspberry for mo- worst movie in that year. Did it? Yeah, Jesus. either that or it got nominated. It might have just been nominated. I don't um, know if it got it. They only use the actors that can actually sing and dance, so it wasn't shitty in a musical sense. But Music Meister was all, was great. Also, that's the cool part about that. So that's why they had a musical episode. Wow, I was he hoping for the mad best scientist. Of I was hoping legs. for a best. Of, yeah, he didn't. The problem was the physical first, and then, like I said, I didn't feel. Like Even the mad scientist mis- level was yeah, that, like, Le- Milex is a mad scientist, is this evil genius scientist who's not crazy. He's mentally he's, pretty he's, stable guy. Like, he understands like he just, what's going on, he just doesn't give a crap. Yeah, like, basically, he's, pretty, he's like, I'm evil, cool, let's see if this He's a pretty straight show. across guy. Like, like I know not, what's happening, I want to take over the world and be in charge and protect people and be in charge. Yeah, he's not, like, into giggling about Batman and Superman and, fighting and And shit. I'm a little biased because my perfect picture of Lex is the Justice League Lex. In my head, that was like the best portrayal of Lex like, Luthor to date. The Is... animated, mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely. Not just the voice, but just the whole, the whole like, even the demeanor the, the, and everything. Everything, man. everything about him screamed super villain, evil genius, evil mad genius scientist, leader, leader, leader of the Legion of Doom. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, and and think about it, guys. He's a not he's a character without powers, like to be the leader. Right. He's basically of the, the of equivalent Doom? of Batman on the other side. On the other side. The only and amazing. he is against Superman. Alex Luther under five seven is no Luther. It's not even Superman. that. Like he's yes, to be like at least six two. Lex is not evil. He is the true hero in Superman. <laughs> Tyler hates soups. Lex, you hate soups, man. I uh, hate soups I'm too. Soups as soups. well. I just hate the whole broken character designs. The same reason the Flash, except for that, then Superman is like such an asshole, unrelatable character. Too. And people think that Superman is such a powerful character and that he could be anybody. Guys, this is him getting beat up by Booster Gold. Booster Gold is like an enhanced human, like he just being, basically the Batman of the twenty second yeah, century. Yeah, he is. He basically is just an without the atten- Batman, it, without the detective skills, with some beam powers and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, he beats the crap out of Superman. Look at him slamming him into the like he just beats the crap out of Superman. Even things like and and here's the thing: I just finished the DC versus Marvel crossover comic. I read the whole thing through, mm-hmm. and there's two things I'll say about that crossover. One, it was a fan writ write in uh, for really? who won. Hmm. Which, all right, no, yeah, it was a fan. Which is like they saw so Superman beat Hulk. He did, but here's the other thing: they used some of the weakest versions of every character in the in the Marvel, Marvel universe. universe. They used I a that. Hulk that was fully conscious Bruce Banner, which is the weakest Hulk, by the way, guys. By the way, World War Hulk would have been a freaking. This was challenge. before World World Hulk, Hulk, but even but then, still. but even then, regular Hulk is stronger than that Hulk. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of. There's a lot of give and take. Annihilation. Annihilation. That's what I'm trying to think. What do you mean, Susie? Are you talking Annihilation Wave? Like Marvel? Are you talking uh, Mortal Kombat Annihilation? Um, Wait, when were those crossovers made? 90s. 90s. Okay, so that was before World yeah. War Hulk. So, but even so, like every other version that of the Hulk. Hulk even before that, not... they had Nightmare Hulk at that point. Yeah. Right? But even before, like, they had regular they the Green Hulk. Hulk. They used the Weak Hulk. They used Spider Man as Ben Riley instead of what? Peter Parker. Yep, it was Clone. It was during. Must have been during Clone Saga because he fought Superboy as Ben Riley. Wow. And the only reason you can tell is is because they mention Clone stuff and he kind of annihilated Superman. Annihilated. Hulk? No. <sighs> Don't think so. That all the freaking crossover Superman part with uh, Superman with Cap Shield and Mjolnir is Which just they too give much. to him. And actually, the funny part, in the DC versus Marvel crossover, Wonder Woman can pick up Thor's hammer. Mm-hmm. And actually, casually. Casually. Casually, she, like, hands it to him. <laughs> and then, like, she picks it up. At one, and that they, that was one cool part of the thing. But I don't understand. They they show the hammer for whatever reason. Go to Wonder Woman so she can pick it up and be Wonder Woman right, Thor. Right. And she's supposed oh, what's to up, Marcel. And Good she's to supposed you, to fight Storm. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. As the pro- yeah. part of the crossover, and she decides not to use the hammer because it'd be unfair. And then so Storm she wins. Ends up losing the storm. Okay. Which is cool. Like, Which is I mean, interesting. I, I'm like, Isn't Hulk supposed to be cool stronger than you get to be watched? 
Beavers, he would have smashed But if he's consciously, Sandy, yeah. if he's consciously aware, Bruce Banner, Hulk, he won't get stronger because he knows. Yeah, Bruce like, Banner, mm, could limit, not, not only that, Bruce Banner consciously at all times limits, limits the Hulk, the Hulk. Uh, from being as strong as he can, mm -hmm. which is mentioned in the onslaught crossover. Which is why, what's up? What's up, man? You know, Long time no see. Never mind. Been? Just ignore that, LL. Baffled. Uh, the thing about it is that those are all heavily written. The the most recent crossover of Batman versus or uh, Hulk versus Superman though was a Hulk in the mindless state, uh, and there was no winner in that one. Not only that, I think I saw. Was that a YouTube video? No. It might have been, but I t we've talked about it before, and I also told you because we have a we have uh, we might have the picture on here. Yeah, we did where it's versus. a quote. We it wasn't a it might have been, but it was a uh, quote from Superman saying that the. When he was hit by the uh, Hulk, he was punched into orbit, first of all, or out of orbit. But when he was, he said he'd never been hit that hard by anybody before. Ah, I do remember that. Which, clip. this is post, I believe at least, it might be a little before, but I think this is post Black Superman, or Black Outfit Superman, mm -hmm. which means it would be post Doomsday. Oh, wow. So po that rebor reborn Superman? Not only that, it would mean that if that was the hardest he'd ever been hit up to that point, that would make Hulk, Hulk stronger, stronger than, than Doomsday. Doomsday. Woo! How's it going? But uh, there's lots of arguments, and the Hulk has only gotten stronger since Welcome that Welcome back, Tyler. Whereas Superman has been nerfed in the meantime. Yeah, he has been nerfed. I mean, think of Silver Age Superman, who was able to sneeze and planets yeah. flew away. Like... Right, which... By the way, if you really wanted to do a fight against one or one or the other, let's you would probably could do something like uh, Sentry versus, versus even ooh. Quasar is a good one too. Uh, Sentry versus about, Soups. Yeah, Sentry. But the problem is Sentry is a broken ass character. He is, and he could. I, I feel like he could annihilate. Super he could annihilate most anyone. Sentry is. Can he at the, alter reality? Yeah, like, he can alter reality. Planet, Planet Destroyer, Destroyer Hulk, Hulk would absolutely, absolutely give this Superman a, thing. a fight. Yeah. It was so nice to talk to you, Cy. Si. You're, you're thank automatically you for coming back. For the yeah, as, automatically long as, you like the, as long as you like the page so we can find you. But thank you, man, hopefully. Edward Norton Hulk, Hulk was horrible. horrible. It yep. wasn't the worst one. Horrible. Yeah, all right. It was horrible. Terrible, man. I don't know, man. I thought it was all right. That was that the Hulk, right? I, was that the original? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that, I one, think so. that one was the worst thing. The uh, second one was who? What was the second one Wasn't when he was the down in Argentina? Incredible Hulk. Yeah, but who was the actor? I don't know. Who do you guys I can't remember? remember? Weird nope. guy. Nope, just bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. Hulk does deserve a good he, movie, guys. He, it's like, gonna be impossible to give him. He's, it is unrelatable. Un he's got a you. He's gonna meet up with Thor and Scar. That's where he's, but that's the thing. He's not gonna get his own, and that's okay. Some characters don't get. Yeah, their own he gets series. wrapped into this, and like this, like is, almost seems like it's half his movie. Edward is not nerdy enough. No, he wasn't. Wasn't as bad as Eric Bana. Uh, yeah, Eric Bana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, some characters don't get their own series. Electra's, Electra got a movie. Well, she and technically, really the Incredible have. Hulk ties into the MCU. It was a nice tie-in, too. That was like the start of the of MCU. MCU. Yep, that and Iron Man. Yep. It was trash, and you know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The thing is, was it as trash though as the other one? And 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 as Bruce Banner, not the Hulk. Obviously, we're talking because the Hulks in every film has probably been decent. The mm -hmm. best one being the most recent. I thought they were all decent as Hulks. Man, the Hulk in the original, the Hulk. That one sucked, guys. Well, it's fine. Sucked. It's fine. Sucked for man. the time that was hot for two thousand four. Hot garbage. For, for 2004, that had great effect. It I remember thinking, when I not remember only that, that's Hulk. the only one that shows the accurate description of the Hulk moving around. Mm. Only one. Still wasn't The only that. one that shows him jumping across the continent like he's supposed to be able to. Very true. Hulk no, Hulk, Hulk. come on. Oh that was Lou God. Ferrigno painted green. Painted green. Like, don't get me wrong. Lou Ferrigno is probably one of the only men who could have displayed the Hulk at that time. As a man, but it just doesn't give the Hulk justice. Not at all. And like I said, even the most recent Hulk is kind of like, all right, is he big enough? Eh. He's awesome to me. He's good. I want. Uh, what I, I don't like is I I don't necessarily like that they did model his face after, 
like a it looks kind of like Lou Ferrigno, but it's like a mix of Lou and uh, Ruffalo. Yeah, which kind of kinda weird gave me mix. like it gives him like this dumb look. Now, Dave hoping... Bautista's Hulk that would be epic. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's doing good. Drax, his Drax. is amazing. <laughs> I think his Drax is great. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, that series That's is gonna freaking be awesome. Ooh. Like the Guardians of the Galaxy series, by far one of their top series in my opinion. Absolutely, even in my opinion, comics too. Like oh yeah, I mean, yes, they're doing so good. The comics are going great. We haven't talked about comics because we've been so caught on. I guess we'll move into comics a little bit. We haven't mo- talked about movies really either. We did a little we bit. Touched on it, comics wise, guys. Oh. This week, what did you dive into, man? There was so much. I I went through all of He Man and Thundercats. All oh, lucky you, man. <laughs> it was a crowd pleaser, though. It wasn't a deep, serious story or anything. It was like, hey, uh, did you want to see all the funny, coolest parts of these cross? Like, in a very hey, non man, way. It's okay. It was. It was fine. But it was just like, it was definitely one of those ones where it was purely a crossover for the sakes of crossover. And there was That's no kind of how Power Rangers and Justice League It is. Going. It's like, how can we make Fans these two universes? Yeah. It's like, we what fanfic can we pull out of the dust to say like which, how do these go together? That's just coming along, which is cool. Slowly. I'm, I'm. Are you you caught up on that one too? I'm the not Justice caught up League? yet. I'm still on two or three. Yeah, I started. I'm waiting for it to move. It, it's moving very slowly. I right did. Now. I do like the whole Brainiac uh, Zed interaction, which mm-hmm. is cool. Same with TMNT Batman. Which is also on on the outs. Uh, oh wow! I IVX we that. talked about I, IVX finished the other week, and we're starting into all the new X Men stuff. Uh, there's rumors that there might be a return Turn of Wolverine. Wolverine. Yeah. Yep, I just I saw don't think they today. will because it hasn't been enough time. Hey, Bye, guys. Susie. Bye, Susie. Good seeing you. Yep. Hope to see Have you. A good hope, night. hope you like the page, and we'll send you the shirt if you win. And you, you guys got to come back, though, to the page, too, and claim your prize. I like, yeah, you got to come back. Yeah. Dino, you have a prize waiting. I got Josh's prize waiting for him, too. All right, Tyler. Sorry, right. thank you. Thank you. Let me know when I win that captain. Okay, <laughs> we'll Tyler. definitely let you know, Tyler. <laughs> Uh, thank right, you guys bro. for watching, by the way, yeah, so thanks. much. Thanks you guys so much, make you guys. this, like, make it. obviously, like, our co- our conversations are best with you. Obviously. Like, heck they, yeah. they don't get any better. And we just broke 100 comments, by the way, guys. So thank so you. So thank you so much. I mean, things are going great with Comic Con. They are we're, going so we're good. We're loving everything, guys. I mean. Oh, Taylor just locked the page. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Tyler. He did what he needed to do, so now he can get a shirt. Maybe. Yeah. Captain Trust me, America. we've had He's people got that coming, doesn't he? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so. This week, I decided to dive into a little bit more Iron Fist. Oh, I, I read yeah, Iron Fist Breathless. Nice. That was a really cool series because it kind of, it almost dipped back into the Danny that's ha- uh, like going on in this show right here. And the best, the coolest thing about this comic book is it's got like this manga-like style. Oh, Yeah, right. so it's got kind of like a manga-like drawing. So I'm like, that's cool. A little that's easier nice. to follow because the right. art isn't hugely complex. Um but he escapes to Colorado after accidentally after somebody accidentally gets killed. Um, he escapes to Colorado, and this girl comes. Her, her name is uh, Elizabeth Blue, I think. Nice. She's the original character of that storyline only. Um, and she ends up coming to look for him because she's getting haunted and attacked by these dark ninjas. And oh, there's it's like the the main villain ends up becoming this guy named Chi. Who was who's from Kun Lun thousands oh, of years ago? Geez. Yeah, it's it's like a really cool six issue series. That That's just nice. really nice to get into. Nice. I was trying to remember what else I delved into I, this I week. I wanted to get into Immortal Iron Fist. Oh, I just didn't want to do. Immortal so Iron Fist is amazing. I mean, I think it's like 26, 27 issues. Yeah, this is a good chunk. But it's nice. I've <laughs> I've actually done a couple of those ones. And I've done, like I said, I, I see a lot, Iron Fist, a lot of crossovers is where I end up finding a lot of, like, yeah, Iron yeah, a Fist, lot Wolverine, of Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Iron Fist yeah, Wolverine, Luke Cage, yep. Iron Fist, Heroes for Hire. You know what I got really caught up on this week, though? A ton of my DC stuff. Nice. I almost got caught back up on Superman. A couple series behind, there's a whole thing about Superman's son. And so, and now, remind me what the random crossover is going on here between 52 and <sighs> Rebirth? Like, what's going on with those suits? The thing is, is, like, we're in this whole area of... That's very similar to Secret Wars and Marvel, by the way, for people who say that uh, Marvel is always ripping DC. Rebirth this is, a is rip. so hugely a rip of Secret, Secret Wars, Wars of like, all right, we now understand all these different stories were compiled when we weren't fucking mm-hmm. noticing in the past isn't necessarily what we think. And there's different universes. And they've done that in the universes, 
uh, the Crisis on Infinite Earths kind of stuff, but not like this and not like Secret Wars. Because they've done it in the Infinite series a little, they've dipped into but it. But it was but nowhere it was near not the Secret thing. Wars. No, Secret Wars was such an ultimate ending to everything, to and everything. then a rebirth. Yep. A rebirth. Uh, but what I will say is, the thing is that we're seeing a lot of the interaction between, all right, we had post basically post-Crisis Superman showing up in New 52 a timeline, which mm. is basically what I'm feeling. Wow. That's basically where we are in Rebirth, really? is what I feel. At least that or it's a somewhat similar. I'm not caught up crisis. on the Supes one. Well, the Supes one is weird, and it's not talked about it that much yet because we're still in, like, who's Superman, who's Clark Kent, who's this blah, 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 Lois Lane is Superwoman, L Lana Lane is also somehow Superwoman. Lois Lane is well, Superwoman? Well, she was until wow. she died. Oh. Yeah, trust me, it's crazy, dude. Guys, Lois Lane. What are you guys reading? Tons um, what are you guys like, up to this week in terms of comics? Too. Oh, Wonder Woman was insane. <sighs> Wonder Woman was basically a huge retcon. It was Green Lantern. Oh man, did he get some? Oh, dude, Such I want a, a copy book. of that the one. The Sinestro Corps got a hold of the of everything. Everything. Do you got the go to the one where he's forging? I love that's my favorite scene in this one. This. Uh, wait, which one is this one? I thought this the was first the first volume of Green Lantern. It Outdoor should be in the Green Lantern Corps, right? It should be on like the second page then, maybe, because this should be super early in this to watch him forge his ring. Thought it was because it be it should be Sinestro. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. It should be like maybe one after this or two after this. It'll show it. Yeah, one more. Mm -hmm. that, that that's it. He's forging his ring. Oh yeah. Told you, man. Wow. I told you this is the this is the one where it Damn. said that no one but the guardians of the universe were supposed to be able to make a green power ring. Kyle Rayner. Yeah. I love that one. That was probably my favorite epi issue of the entirety of Rebirth so far. Adrian and I've Hall read a said lot mostly it. Rebirth. And Jazzy Del Val said read Deadpool Dracula's Gauntlet and the Wedding of uh -huh, the Ah yeah, those are good. Oh yeah, good ones. You should yeah. Well, it's basically it talks all about how he ends up married to his current wife. And oh, what's wow. going to happen with the, not the Monsters Unleashed, but the, the Deadpool series right now is all about that. All about him and Tikla, who is queen of the monsters, underground, blah, blah, blah. And yes, we should read it, Jazzy. I want to, do you, you wouldn't happen to have that. I got to go read it again. Um, you should see the, uh, the Secret Wars cross, though. It's basically a cross of what happens in Dracula's Gauntlet, where what happened if Dracula had taken Deadpool seriously and basically just killed him. Jeez. Yeah, and then how Tikla ends up What's becoming up, the hero. What's up, Andrew? We're talking about comics right now. Um, maybe we can even move into our awesome. recommended comic of the week, oh. which is Unworthy Thor. Unworthy Thor number five, five, specifically. Where we, after five long years of waiting, five finally, long years, guys, finally, finally figure out figure why out Thor. Thor. Why he's dropped Unworthy. Mjolnir. Why yeah, he why? dropped Mjolnir. Why he couldn't pick it back up after one whisper from Nick Fury. We one whisper, which was such... It it, and it's such a big deal and thing. It's like one of the most powerful scenes powerful in scenes all of original all Marvel. Cinema. Probably, yeah, all Marvel even to watch Thor drop his hammer because that's been the whole prep. Pref. That's been the whole thing of Thor these all these years, all 30, these years. 40 40 years, years only, the, only he who's worthy may lift his Thor, and he who is worthy shall have the power of Thor. And now we know Jane Foster has the power of Thor currently. It's been revealed for quite a while now. Not not a secret. I yeah, think when it started. I mean. Just like two years ago? Yeah, two, three years. But the Unworthy Thor is finally revealing. Like they, This was the biggest secret of Marvel. They even went to the trouble of not printing this in the book so you couldn't see For it. For a while. Yeah, yeah they, they, they learned, printed it. They learned after a, an, a mistake in the human in human series, or it was it might have been the uh, Illuminati, actually, where Black Bolt whispers something to Maximus. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> they, and someone went to the trouble to blow it up 250,000 times or however many times to read what it said and spoil it. Uh, and so they made sure not to print it this time. And man, they kept us waiting, and I would not have seen it. Like there were tons of guesses, guys. There was guesses, and like I was saying, I mean, people thought Jane had cancer. People thought he wasn't Odin's son. People, people thought, thought that the storm and the hammer were like conscious, conscious and rejected and him. Yeah, they... <laughs> people thought that maybe, uh, like what, what was like, like that he had given Jane cancer. Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, there were there were theories that or that um, maybe he had killed someone he shouldn't have. Right, I mean, that that just... some long some. And I gotta say, I was actually elegantly impressed. I was at first, I was a little Very underwhelmed. Impressed. I was underwhelmed at first, but then 
it kind of rolled into place. It for me. hit me after the some, the the pages after. Yeah, was it was after when he was when talking about it, it and as, explaining it and going into it. I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, it's like it makes so much sense. It's like, of course, no wonder. That makes so much sense. So like basically, sense. you're like, holy shit, right? What's up, Tony? Good hey, to see you, man. Long time no see, bro. Yep. What What else do we have on the list of recommended? Recommended. That was mine for the week because I just love that one so much. It was, it was so, so profound. Good. And I mean, I guess I'll recommend Immortal Iron Fist. That's a good one. Um, I haven't read too far into that one, but just some of the origins of this. And even this is ahead of the series, guys. Oh. We got to realize that the series starts at a place we really haven't seen in the comics. Ever. Ever. He's introduced as already having mastered the Iron Fist. Iron Fist, yep. In all of the series, he's already, like, you You get some past of him, but he already knows Iron Fist. He's Not only that, he's, it. like, the lead of his company yep. when he comes back. Like, he gets it back almost yeah, immediately. Yeah, he gets Rand Industries like that. Like, it's just, like, no argument. Yeah, there was. I, don't, I mean, are the there was even a They are presence, in there, or? but not like this. Not like this. He's, like, always, be, like, he comes back and it's like, well, it's your company, Danny. Yep. It's just Basically, like, well, like, he's same, like, I'm Danny Rand. Oh, my God, you know? that series is so good. Are you saying that on your first day as he... <laughs> <laughs> that you are drawing a line like in the sand. sand. Yes. yes. <laughs> so uh, good. I love oh, that show, such man. a good show. You guys got to watch it if you haven't seen Iron Fist. So good. But yeah, we'll kind of maybe pull to a close, man. Looks like we've, we've hit that point in the, in the cast. One thing. Samurai Jack. Oh. Samurai Jack. Episode two. So good. So good. We st- basically, we were immediately gratified with what we wanted last week. Right. We talked about it like. We what did we want and we got it like immediately and it was amazing and I, at first I was like mm. I and then I was like how mm. good this is man I mean it's like so it's so amazing so amazing I feel like it's also be very low key um, in right the sense I haven't that, seen like, a lot about it not a no one's reviewing about it, it. No, no one's re- yeah I'm it's not so seeing that low, much low, like, but it's like everything I'm seeing is amazing it's so good jaw dropping guys it is it, like Jack every- <laughs> Jack Samurai Jack got to get back to the past Samurai Jack. Gotta get back. Back to the past. <laughs> no, I know. It's just so fucking epic. And um, I just love the ninja chicks, yep. man. And uh, with that, I think we'll close with that. Uh, my recommended series. Oh, you know what? We didn't. We gotta give him more, one more shout out to the stuff. We'll do That's one right. more run through. One more run through. We've got these. I gotta grab the other one. And then we'll for do prizes, the first. guys, this week we've got some comics. We're gonna we've give got... out two of these four, by the way. So yep. we'll do two picks. For so this we're doing week. two picks, picks for these. Which we got Action Comics, Superman vs. Superboy. And then next up we got Metamorpho. After that is Cloak and Dagger. And then finally Lobo. Then, then we have one from last week that... It's actually two weeks two, ago. Two weeks ago. That someone still hasn't picked up even from last week's one. Someone won it and didn't win. Actually, someone who comes to the page quite often. Uh, we've got an all-new Wolverine number one still. It's true Believers. Come on, guys. We've got a Weapon X Age of Apocalypse after Xavier... A Marvel Now Wolverine variant edition. Variant cover. Very nice. Get that clean white, man. Very, Very nice. Clean. Wolverine and Dupe. Episode 2. Wolverine, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. 6 of 6 might be the one you need. You let us know. The the river of the raffle will obviously get their pick of whichever one they want. And, and we also have t-shirts as well. Uh, on my side, we have the much desired, at least by Tyler, <laughs> the much the desired Captain, Captain America, America shirt. shirt. And then behind that, we've got Doctor Strange in a smooth, very modern style. Moderate as all get out. Very, very low key. And then we've got this kind of retro shirt here, the Millennium Falcon. Very beautiful. Um, pretty cool. Nice little sun in the back there. And then last but not least, the Death Trooper. With these glowing eyes. Which, by the way, Rogue One was awesome. Let's, Man, we gotta see some clips of the latest Star Wars. Dude, they put out we thing, gotta start guys. getting... If you guys got access to anything that you, you know... Yeah, if you want to send us sneak peeks, I mean... Clips, sh- oh, please let us know. Even if it's, like, stuff you made, like... I love those, uh, like... The cat custom tea. made fan DH trailers. Lawless, you have to like our page, my man. We tried to get you your prize last week, and yeah, you actually ago, won you the new, first new week, one, sir. Yeah, but sir, you gotta, please. you gotta like the page so we can tag you in the post to let you know you've won. Yeah, we want to ship you your comic, man. Yep. So hopefully this week you'll win again and get another chance. Uh, we will say you gotta, you've gotta uh, let you know. We'll announce the winners tomorrow around five. It'll be from a list of the people who have liked. 
commented or shared the page and liked our page so that we know we can tag you. Next month we'll, we'll get new trailers of Star Wars. Yes. Awesome. Uh and we will let you know by tomorrow around five. Uh, exactly who won. We and won but you're up. gonna have to contact us back by Monday so that we can start, you know, get you your info and send this to yep, you. Yep, and be sure to like the page, guys. That way we, then that we, way we can tag you. Yeah, we, we, it's hard for us to tag you and find you and let you know you've won if you don't like the page. Exactly. So, we had some little announcements from our personal pages. I'll let Axel go ahead and go first. Nice. Uh, just picked up new equipment for all of our, you know, personal project studio services. I've had a couple people ask, so if you've been interested, let me know. But I've also been doing more gaming content uh, on YouTube. Under 3D Productions Inc. and Failing, you can look up either of those. Even Axel Grave, you'll probably find it. As well as music every Sunday, new nice. music, a new song, uh, new beats sometimes. I mean, just check it out. You can also check out Patreon or Twitch, wherever, at Axel Grave or 3D, and you'll probably find us. Guys, 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 I opened my website, theblurredblog.com, well. and let me tell you, things are going well. Uh, I want you guys to come visit. I post about every other day just something new. Recently posted this Netflix guide, and this guy, um, Amir Mo, who is a director and writer in, in California, um, he's on IMDb and everything. He actually wrote this movie called The Sex Addict, which is super, super funny. Oh, I mean, it's just, it had me and one of my friends, Dino, who's actually in the room. He, so it had us just laughing, man. Oh, man. Like, for, we're, we're in tears in the first couple minutes, and it's a really good movie about uh, addiction and in, in kind of a comedic way. So you have to go check it out once it comes out April 28th. That and then good. I'm also about to review another movie that's coming out theatrically sometime in July, I think. Um, I'll be giving you guys an announcement about that a little bit later. But check it out, theblurredblog.com, um, T-H-E-B-L-E-R-D, blog, B-L-O-G.com. Check it out. I'm going to have content on there every other day, guys. Like, I updated, like, a lot, so... Nice. Stay up. And then I'm also doing, still doing professional writing services for anybody who needs it. Um, I do a lot of copywriting, marketing, email content. Like I make a lot of content on different platforms, guys. Like these different banners that, we're, that I'm making for comic combos are some of the things I'm doing. So go ahead and hit me up if you guys need any professional services or hit this guy up too because his recording is amazing. <laughs> Flawless. It's like we're um, hopefully doing all this from the studio. Exactly. So it's doing we okay are. at least so yeah, far. We're doing well. Um, in addition to that, uh, you know, we, we try to release comic Convos content as much as we can on our YouTube page and stuff. So if you look, we might have a new episode up from previous weeks. Yeah, we just got a new episode up. Yeah, it was, it was, it was it's just came up. Uh, I think it was episode five, four, 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 five. four, 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 four or five. Uh, we're trying to catch up to 10, obviously, because, you know, making the episodes. The other thing is, in the meantime, uh, while you're waiting either for your products to ship or to watch us next Thursday and join the conversation, check out some of our meme posts. Uh, there's so many fun ones and I so mean, many great so many. ones. We have a lot of comic references and we got funny posts and all kinds of things, oh, guys. Yeah. Keep up with us on the page. We'll be starting to share more new stuff now, I'm sure. I mean, oh, yeah, hopefully. How yeah. things are going with, oh, yeah. uh, you know all this new oh, stuff. Oh, there's so much new content. Daily. I got new ones. Like I said, I have new ones just from Iron Fist. Oh, uh, speaking goodness. of which, I felt like it would be a good idea to end the, like we said, we did the quote earlier, but you know, we'll end the, the, the show with this quote again from Iron Fist, the show. Uh, you know, as long as the cycle of exin existence lasts, may your happiness never decline, guys. Like, seriously, just May it never life. decline. Iron Fist, Iron episode Fist. two. So, uh, we're going to let you go. We're going to go and figure out who won tonight. That's usually what we do after the cast. Yeah, Talk we'll about what we do next figure week. Figure out who's winning. One of y'all is a lucky winner. About Tyler. five. About five of you are the five lucky winner this five. week. Five, yeah. It, it's and not going to be do, that guys, many next all week, you gotta I got to say. like the page literally. and like the video. Like, that's literally two clicks. Yep, two clicks. That's all it takes. And, and you're in the you running. You comment. You, you're in the running. You share. You're in the running. Any of that. And Anything. And we are watching, and we we literally do go through this and look at every single person who commented and every person who liked. And it sometimes takes about 10, 15 minutes, even on our tiny cast. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for coming back yeah, to Comic so Combos. We we'll appreciate see you it. next week. Next week, guys. Episode special 11. Power Rangers episode. Oh, man. Power Rangers. If you enjoyed watching and want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe.
subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar.